Hi everyone and welcome to round nine, the final round of the second Cambridge International Tournament. I'm joined by WGM Lanyao. Hello, hello Lisa. Hello. Hello. And um, today we've got ooh, a lot of exciting games. I'm going to first of all show the playing area. Um, and uh, you can see in the far corner uh, the top board. So Martin Halbro on board one um, up against uh, Peter Robeson. And then Mickey Adams on board two against Jonah Willow. Uh, Jonah's white. And we need to let you know that Jonah needs a win here for a GM norm. So he, he's on for a GM norm if he can beat the very tough Mickey Adams. Um, and then we have Tivyakov also on board three against um, Francesco Sonis. And um, uh, Tivy's also just half a point off the lead. OK. Let's yeah, and actually, one funny thing. Yeah. You know, you know, Jonah yeah. has played Mickey like three times in the final round. So in the English mm -hmm. Championship last year, uh, he played yeah. Mickey and uh, he just um, um, he drew the game and I think the game he, he had a winning chance in one move something like that. And in the British Championship, he played Mickey yeah. in the last round and he he needs a draw to um, get to the top six something and to get the prize. But unfortunately, he yeah. lost. He played like forever and forever, I think like um, many hours. How many hours? Like five, six hours. And finally, oh, Jonah God. just lost. Yeah. And he was really unhappy because I was there. I just saw him like really unhappy in the corner. And mm -hmm. uh, so this, this is this is the third time that he wow. played. A so third game. time lucky, they say. Third time lucky for Jonah, maybe. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Maybe. Okay. Oh gosh. So he lost the first two. So so no, Jonah's he, No, he didn't. He he drew the first one, but he had I drew the first one. He drew the first one, lost the second. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. So big, big, big game. I would put Mickey myself, I'd put Mickey as favorite, but like in final rounds, funny things can happen. Well, anything can happen. And Jonah's obviously a very, very strong player. So and he'll be extra motivated to win today. And he's got the white pieces. So yeah. who knows? Okay. So shall we? Let's pop in there first, actually. Um, so <laughs> Jonah against Mickey and E4, E5. Okay. And uh, so Mickey likes playing E5. Um, well, they just play this already forever as long as I saw them. Like they, they just always play this. Yeah. Okay, uh, so oh, oh, in the previous games, do you know what the openings were in the previous games? Was Jonah White before? Do uh, you know? I didn't see. So what is that? Yeah, yeah, and whether they played the same thing in those um, last round matches? Oh, you, you mean the, you mean right? the game against Mickey in the, in the la last? Um, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember, like, um, uh, if if I'm right, uh, the the first the first yeah. round the uh, in the English Championship. Um, so I think yeah. Jonah was live, if I remember right, and uh, they played yeah. exactly the same thing, like nice six and same thing five. again. Yeah. Roy Lopez, yeah, yeah, and Bishop six, Knight F six, castles, and Bishop C five from Mickey, and Jonah's going for kind of C three and D four type plan. So b5, bishop c2, defending daddy pawn. And Mickey plays d6. Yeah, he does always play that. Yeah. As okay, as so they've probably both had this position many times before. Mm -hmm. Or bishop a7, a4. Because I think um, Mickey sometimes plays Roy Lopez for white as well. So it, it, yeah, they've both probably then. both had it. I don't know, does Jonah play? Do you know what Jonah plays as black? Uh, Cecilia. Maybe have it both for both colors. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So here, I think maybe usually play B4, if I remember right, at this moment. Ah. Okay. Is that before? Well, probably, probably not. Not here. I'm not sure about. Yeah. At some point, B4. Probably it's not here. Yeah. But, 
Uh, I'm I'm getting confused mm. also. Actually, I, I played this opening for once, and my opponent played um, B4, and uh, okay, it's a French player, so Sophie Millet, if if I pronounce right. I was also white, and the shoes oh, white. So familiar, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and I play. I play this opening, and uh, she just like B B four. I'm not. I'm not sure. Is that at this point or just uh, some some point before? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This opening was also quite new for me. I just didn't play it many times, and now now I'm a bit yeah. rusty, and I I forgot exactly the um, sequence. But B four some point, and uh, it ended up as a draw. Oh, yeah. So probably Bishop C2 wasn't playing Morning, was. before. Yeah. Here before probably okay. doesn't work because um uh, D5 something. Yeah. Uh um yeah, it's quite confusing. Mm -hmm. So Mickey went bishop g4. Yeah. And oh this is interesting. So so Jonah went takes, takes. And then rook a6. Yeah. Which is a move I haven't seen before, but it, it might be that that I don't I don't play this um normally as white, so so maybe I just wouldn't have. Um but uh, interesting. So it kind of immediately attacks here. Mm -hmm. And I guess in due course, Jonah might want to line some things up on the A file after yeah. getting these pieces out. Um, so Mickey played, but Mickey didn't have a didn't have a mega long think. And in fact, Jonas used up a little bit more time. Um, Mickey played Bishop B six, and he's kind of offering a, a trade of these rooks on the A file, mm -hmm. which has happened. Yeah, um, yeah, and so. I mean, it looks like Black's got pretty good development here. Got all the pieces out already, um, and White's still White's still got to get these ones. Yeah. And yeah, but it keeps it keeps kind of all the minor pieces still on the board. Um, so yeah, Ad yes, high pass pawn. Adams didn't end up with the upfloat. No, no, no. Interesting game that um, that these two are playing again in a final round. Um, yeah. So d five. Okay. So Mickey's kind of closing up the center a bit. Um, yeah. This night. Well, maybe either drop back or else could potentially come around here. Mm. And then D5 is the kind of um, typical idea for white here, just to close the center and focus on attacking the king yes. side. Yes. Okay. Sorry, it's Jonah. Jonah closed the center. So, yeah. um, so king side attack. Well, then that's the sort of game he'll want because uh, that can lead to he probably doesn't want to sort of draw a shen game or anything like that he wants to to get some attacking in there and that's the style as well isn't it jonah he i've, I've seen him do some really good attacks yeah i know he's really good at opening preparation so he's really really good at that yeah. he can prepare for like 20 or 30 moves and prepare to the end this is what i felt oh, wow. so this is maybe still in his prep then Mm, probably, but we spend time to think. Uh, the, the thing, the thing yeah. I'm thinking is that he, he tends to spend lots of time to think uh, in middle game, and this is also yeah. what my experience of playing him. He just prepared the opening really well and, and can prepare some unusual things, but just to spend a long, long time to think in the middle game. Yeah. So does he get into time trouble sometimes then? Um, the game against me, yeah, but we're both uh, getting a, a bit like a time trouble. <laughs> Well, he played yeah. well in time trouble. Like I, uh, I was trying to yeah. make a make a trick in time trouble, but, but he just found the only only right move, I think. And then, yeah, yeah. I didn't I didn't manage to win this game that game. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's look at board one. So Martin Halbro, Peter Robeson. So Martin's the tournament leader. He's half a point ahead. 
Um, and then Peter's part of a group of four players uh, that, are, that are just half a point off the lead. And we've got another Sicilian. We've, got, we've had so many Sicilians this tournament, um, which is very nice. So E4, C5. And you like it. You like it, Lanya, I know. Yeah. You, like, you like these ones for the commentary as well. So E4, yeah. C5. Knight F3, D6 to here. I play for so white, to be honest. Even, like it even, for white? Even I play black for Sicilian, I still play white. I, I still prefer white, always. Yeah. 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 We had one yesterday, um, which had a very early G4, and white just managed to get a huge attack, oh, actually. G4. G4. I know that line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, any, any, um, yeah, so yeah, you can just try to go for G four. I think, like, yeah. Yes, I think, I think. Oh, well, we actually now look. G four's just appeared as move fifteen on this game, so we will we'll yeah. come to it. Um, yeah, in that game we had yesterday, there was a trouble with the thing was that Black just had it did uh, they did a so E six, and then they did a Bishop E seven setup, but then this Knight. Because white had got e5 and the, the knight could never get out. So it was like really, really tricky. Yeah. Um, okay. So knight f6, knight c3, knight c6, bishop g5, and mm. e6, queen d2, a6, and white cost yeah. All theory so far. So bishop d7. King B1. I like King Getting B1. King it's out of the action. Quite a tricky move. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's tricky. And it, it sort of tries, it gets the king safe. And um, that feels like a safe move. But what it really means is white's going to come in with lots of pawns on the king side in just a bit. So we'll see a very exciting game coming up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because actually, if you're half a point ahead going into the final round, you might be inclined to just take a quick draw, right? Um, to to guarantee yourself the win of the tournament, um, at least a shared win. But but Martin's going for um, he'll be he'll be going all out, I guess, to uh, try and make sure he's clear. If he wins, him he'll get be clear winner. So takes yeah. takes. Probably he's for a win because this opening is quite like aggressive, and uh, I think why yeah. has a good chance to win. Yeah, yeah. Queen D2, we saw, yeah, another game. Yeah, there's a few, yeah, I think it is definitely a playing for a win type opening. Now, B5 coming in and uh, B4 could easily come next. At which point at the moment, yeah, this knight doesn't actually have any space. Uh, can go to E2. That's what here, but he's going, uh, what he does is Bishop D3. Yeah to come back that way. So it gets the bishop out sort of ahead of that knight. So b4 happens, knight e2. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. a5. And now g4. So here we go. This is where they're at. Um, what? So, so, so Peter Roberson's black. Yeah. Um, so... You could imagine things like, um, so you can't, if you if you push this pawn straight away, white might just take that one off. Yeah, you can take them. Um, yeah. So there's things, plans might be to try and get, ooh, ooh, not d4, try and get d5 in, or else to castle perhaps. But you'd be a bit brave castling into these these pawns. Mm. What do you think? Um, you, you have this sometimes for white, but not black. Yeah, black. I played black for, for several years. Oh, and um, black as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, the thing I got, I, I feel annoyed the, the most is that probably sometimes white doesn't know the theory and just play king b one. And I was like, hmm. I also yeah. didn't know the theory because the theory is like, uh, the theory I remember was like attacking and uh, something f four e five and what kind of those kind yeah. of stuff. And then king b one. Like, and and then just play slow positional game, and I think um, it's, it's quite hard for for black. 
and uh, okay. yeah, at the engine actually prefers wide, but some players, yeah. if they can prepare very um, in depth, then it's okay for them to play black, but not for me. And here, yeah, here, here, why just has a plan of bishop e3 and then h5, uh, h4, h5, g5, and uh, yeah, yeah, and. I, I feel like this is easier to play for white, like, because you can um, just kind of just push all the pawns forward on the king side and see what happens, yeah. sort of. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, if Bishop e3, or, or just mm. even now, d5 is probably not possible because e5 and queen can't take because of Bishop f4. D5, e5, d5, yeah. Oh, D5? Yeah, D5. No, that's just our move. Yeah. yeah. And E5. Right. Oh, and you can't take this because Bishop F4 just traps yeah, the queen. Yeah, so, so that, that's the point of Sylvany. <laughs> that wants yeah. you to play D5. But if E5 exists, then, then D5 probably not good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you don't want to be you don't want to be moving this knight. That's... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's interesting. So black can't play d5 right away. Yeah. And even if um, even if white drops this bishop back to e3, it's the same trick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so black will have to... Uh, do they normally worry? Do you know? Do, you, do they normally worry about leaving that pawn on freeze? Can you just keep going? Um, I think they, they, they worry about that because after taking the b4 yeah. pawn, why can't you just stop attacking? Why can't you just play positionally? That's what they come just back and play the queen with the extra pawn. Yeah. 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 Play positionally and even can trade the queen. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. Okay, so we have. Yeah, castle, castle is played. Castles. Yes, that makes sense. Uh, so Peter Roberson's castles, and so now you're talking about dropping the bishop back. What if does White need to do that before playing h4? No, just White can also play h4 first, and and then and then drop the bishop back. Yeah, yeah. He could go h4. Okay, fine. So let's see what happens. We're going to go to TV. Um, who's white against Frances Francesco Sonis. Um, so Tivi's half a point ahead. Uh, so Francesco's one point off the lead. Another Sicilian for you. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'm not, six, not, not this one. No, no, I, don't, I don't like this one. We shall be fire. You don't like this. This isn't this is not an open Sicilian, not one of these mainline ones. This is a bit more. Um, yeah, but loads of people play it. Yeah. Um, Bishop yeah. Bishop. I've encountered a lot of black. Also, I've tried to play as white, but I just don't like it for either colors. Yes. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. D4 takes and queen takes. Um, A6. Okay. And then white's trading on D7. Yeah. So, so that's the point why well, I don't really like yeah. it because if C4 is played, this means that white's gonna play positionally. So this means that white yeah. can't longer like can learn and castle alone, but I just need to castle short and then yeah, and, then and just play with the sort of yeah. bind in the center. Yeah. yeah, so that's why I've, I've said this kind of thing is both like hard for both sides because both sides just put a structure, and um, I kind of think it's hard to think of a plan in this kind of Cecilia. Yeah. Yeah. So what, just develop pieces? Yeah, develop everything. They're trying to get C5 in, maybe? In the future, yeah, possible. Yeah. And then black... Uh, yeah, well, black, I guess, gets these pieces out first, and then... Uh, yeah. But, yeah, but yeah, what break is black aiming for? Well, let's see, let's see, let's get the pieces out first. Here we go. E6, knight c3, and bishop c6, castles, bishop b7. Uh, 
and black castles. So kind of both sides are now developed. But yeah, thinking of a plan for black, um, they're going for yeah, usually they B5 want five maybe. Yeah, they, yeah, usually they want to go for B five or D five either. Yeah. Queen D three. Rook C eight. And knight in. So black just drops the bishop back. So black's got the bishop pair here and wants to keep it. So b3 and queen c7. So as you say, it's it's um, it's um nothing like the Sicilian on board one. So the Sicilian on board one is all fire and pawns attacking and this Sicilian's a, a much more positional one. Yeah. Okay. Um, right, Matt, Matt's reminding us, Mickey's opponent has to win to get a GM norm. Um, so yeah, so that game we're going to keep dropping in on throughout. Um, okay, and let's look at this one though as well. Um, Ian Gourlay against um, Daniel Fernandez. Yeah. So um, this one is not at all a Sicilian. This is Fiatta, uh, Betty type opening. Ah, Queen A4. Queen A4 is interesting. Well, interesting thing That's that I think, yeah, I think Fernandez uh, began to play more proper in recent games, but he's still playing as playing strangely. Yeah. Yes. He's learned to learn lots of openings, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bishop G4. But it, but it isn't, uh, I guess that this. I feel like the queen a4 is a little bit of a strange move. But that's one of that's white strange moves. So. Yeah, really strange. Yeah. Okay. Um, white could always try and try and do a trick here, um, yeah. but then black just takes on f3, and it's no problem. The trick was that this queen mm -hmm. uh, comes across. Yeah. Um, Bishop g2, and then actually Fernandez just took anyway. Takes, takes, and e6. So he's setting up this yeah. very much pawns on white squares it's, here. It's good against all this. his pawns on white squares. Yeah. Except that Yeah. Uh, is, is that you? Is that you go stuck or I go stuck? Yeah, I think Natasha got stuck because yeah, my internet is also not very constant. But I uh, will wait for her to come back. Oh, yeah, I lost my internet. I've gone on to a different network. We might be still live, by the way. So yeah, we should because I was like talking and I was oh, like, good. Okay, Lovely. wait for Natasha to come back. I was like, if you yes. if you don't come back in a, in a moment, I'm gonna just screen myself. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna share these uh, share this screen again. 
Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. So you should still be able to see now in Gole against Daniel Fernandez. I should be back. Yeah, H4 was played. <laughs> yes, H4. H4. And then um, Bishop D7. So I wonder actually if he's going to go H5 straight away. Maybe <laughs> he probably want to get some pieces out first, but wouldn't be crazy. Um, okay. And all right. And then, but actually, um, Daniel didn't really try and stop White doing h5 there. He's 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 yeah. kind of okay for that to happen. This knight here can at some point go kind of either direction. So it could go here or here attacking this white queen, but also there attacking the bishop. And I, I expect this knight maybe will go there, but it doesn't have to, right? If it went the other way, then this knight could even go that way. So it's yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's, he, I think he's provoking because, like, White could just bring this d-pawn out somewhere and then and then kind of get this pawn right up to um, h6. Yeah, that's likely. Yeah. Apart black and castle lawn, is that possible? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That must be what he's doing. That must be what he's doing. Yeah, castle lawn. And so White's put this pawn all the way up to here, but there's not a king there to be a target. Yeah, no, you're right. That must be what he's up to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. Here we go. Let's see this one. Um, so this is Nicholas Fashinger against Matthew Turner. And another Roy Lopez. Yeah. This is the same as Mickey's one. Um, not really. now, not now, yes. Because uh, I think Michelle Sivai is quite annoying, I would say. You think you 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 would find it harder to play against Bishop C5, I think, than Bishop D E7. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because that easy draw for me, the, that game, yeah. it was like, oh, so hard. Yeah. And okay, and but why still doing a C3 D4? plan yeah that's all theory yeah i spoke to matthew this morning i think um yeah. i think he wouldn't mind a quick draw <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but he doesn't think he's going to get one <laughs> no bishop c2 bishop d7 and c5 Okay, and now White's doing this plan about rerouting the knight over to the king side. Takes, takes, takes. And knight comes out. G8 and knight d4. So White's got an eye on these squares. Okay, and um, Matthew is playing d5. So this um, opens up the center. I mean, I mean, White has got a lot of pieces pointing towards the king side. So you could consider either capturing or else, like say you went e5, I'm going to just put it on. If you went e5, is that knight e4 is the only place for a knight to go? Yeah. Okay. Can that be taken? Probably him. Why has to take? Otherwise, okay. um, take. If I probably take it then. Oh, yeah. is there a knight? Let me e five at the end, maybe. Or... I have no idea, Jimmy. Because uh... take, take, say this. Nice. If I then took the one, and why does a pawn up? So there must be something. Yeah. Uh, how about uh, bishop bishop d six? Is this or f six? Is an idea. Let's say bishop f six. Ah, right. Okay. Bishop f six. Yes. 
Yes. And can you go E6, though? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. And, um, oh, but if they, take, <laughs> if they take, you can take on F7 and then recapture with the rook. That's pretty good for white, no? Mm. Mm. Oh, I don't know. I can't. There must be something different, I think. E5. Yeah, but you can't, you can't set the knight if they can't. Oh, I found something. You got it. Yeah, go on. Um, just, I'm going to just have a try. Like bishop before. Bishop before. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the idea. Oh, I miss it. Okay. So you can't, you cannot take this because this, this is. Yeah. So. All right. Well, all right. All right. Yeah, all right. Bonus, honey. So that's a point. Is, um, yeah, you better go then bishop d2. Then we just lose the e5 point. Yeah. Yeah, OK. That'll be it, yeah. So if I calmly play, if, if that's OK. What a shame. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So maybe he'll just um, capture in the center. So. Yeah, just take and try to put a knight on f5, probably. Yeah. Because I still quite like this, yeah. all that stuff, you know, and things coming in. Mm -hmm. But I suppose all black needs to do is move this bishop out the way and it's quite likely that the rooks come off on the e file and maybe things liquidate a bit. And this bishop is pretty nice too, to be fair. Yeah. To yeah. Okay. Let's see. All right. We'll do the next one. Uh, Matthew Wadsworth against Rich Pert. Mm. Okay. I won't do all the moves, but we can look at the position. So I, I would say it will be a draw because. They played also lots of times and most of the games of them and they are at all. Fine. Yeah. Okay. They're very similar rated as well, aren't they? And it is yeah. the last round. Yeah. And it's a little bit blocked, isn't it, this position? Because we've got these and then those. So this one's blocking that bishop. Um, although you could imagine things happening. Some breaks on the E file at some point. Um, Rich has just put his bishop here. He's probably yeah a four a four in yeah because if he can go to a three that this bishop is possible. Yeah. Okay. And Rich has spent a bit more time now. Okay. And then now let's see Declan Shafi against Amit Ghazi. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, Garcia, he, he always plays the structure of like G6, Bishop G7, no matter what he happens. He does all the time, this this kind yeah. of Pianchetto structure. So he's very familiar with this. Yeah. And Declan, Declan plays some very interesting games. Um, so he's done, he's, he's, he's pushed these up already to H3, G4, maybe forcing back. Um, yeah, probably forcing back the bishop. No, 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 no. Because look, he just played g4. Yeah. Maybe to give his own bishop some space to drop. Yeah, that's the same. Yeah. Queen b6. Okay. And let's see this one. Um, so Gasanov, who showed his game the other day. Um, so here we go. He's done. So we've got some, let's just read it from start. So D4. Ah, okay, E4. So it's- That's funny, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
White, oh, white is white does castle kingside. I was thinking white might line up and do something crazy castle queenside, but no, castle kingside. Um, and just putting the rook on the open sea farm. Yeah, well, well, why I feel like it's something like it's just very similar to Sicilian samurai, you know, like so like e4 c5, and at some point white plays c3, and uh, it's quite similar to that to that variation. Yeah, ah, okay. Quite a positional one, though, compared yeah. with some of the others. Yeah. Morning Ocelot. Um, okay. And then we better pop in on... Oh, we better see Shres. Uh, Lorenzo Favas, Fava against Shres Royal. Um, oh, there's another Sicilian. And, uh, another Sicilian. We have so many Sicilians in this tournament. Because I thought everyone was switching away from this kind of thing into either D4 openings or Rettis. But no, it's, uh, it's Sicilians all the way. Okay. And so, yeah, so we had again this, this kind of bishop, knight, bishop, but the knights come out um, to H5 yeah. when... Yeah, so oh, it was a G4. Actually, let's just see it. Yeah. Um, same as last one. Same, same one. And, um, the same one King B1 one. was. Every, every, everyone, everyone nowadays know King B1. Like, <laughs> because yeah. I, I, I know this line like very recently because uh, I, I play white before and uh, I usually yeah. play F3 or F4, but this is uh, it's okay, but not, not that solid. But King B1 is a super solid one. So it's even not risky for, for white. So that's the thing. Let's say F4 it might be risky for white. But King B1. Yeah. Just... <laughs> so this is just like the board one game. Yeah. Exactly the same. Takes, takes. Bishop B7. F3. Yeah. Queen C7. <laughs> B4. B4. <laughs> and H5 now. Yeah, H5 is a common plan for, for black just to stop uh, white's attack of playing G5. Yeah. The takes, knight takes. Mm -hmm. And H4. B5. And now rook H2. Mm. This is, what, just defending across here? And yeah, maybe... maybe Doubling, ah, stacking the rooks either this way or across yeah. that way. Yes. I learned that new phrase, stacking the rooks, from uh, from Danny Gormali yesterday we were talking <laughs> about <stacking> rooks. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Well, we better go back to board one and just see how they've done it. Yeah. So, so spot the difference. So, Visual E3 is played. H5 is not played. That doesn't make a main difference. No. G4. So he castled. Um, and then just back. Bishop B3. Yeah. Directly. Without even playing H4. Yes. I'm sure H4 will come, though. I'm sure it's going to be H4 very soon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hello. Frank Nietzsche. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. I'm going to check in. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I think oh. this might be it that the opponent didn't come. Yeah. Oh. It, yeah, I was going to say that was great. <laughs> for him, but I thought I saw Rakaya sitting waiting for an opponent. So, um, yes, yeah, so I think the opponent didn't turn up. Yeah. Maybe he was frightened because... Um, She's been she's she's played three grandmasters. She got one and a half out of three against grandmasters. Mm -hmm. Um cool. yeah. So let's see. Uh right, we need to see Bodana against uh, they just really do every game recently. Uh who did? Uh Bodana. Uh, Bodana's been drawing. Okay. Um so e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6. But not a Roy Lopez this time. We are going to get a four knights. Uh, I think he's her style is more like positional, not not that aggressive yeah. one. Against e4, he just she just plays c6, which is quite a solid one. Yeah, no, she she yeah she does. She's that's why she goes so many duels. 
<laughs> um, d4 takes, knight takes, mm -hmm. and bishop b4. This is quite a theoretical line. Well, why I feel that it will be another draw because this is all, <laughs> it's just a really Jewish theory. Yeah, and remember last time I was there, um, there were uh, like two players who played this line and they just drew very quickly. Yeah, okay. And so there's a bit of a, like, who would offer the draw? Um, I suppose it's, I, I think, but don't, does she offer draw? I think she she maybe doesn't offer draws very much, I think. Um, she doesn't, but like their style is quite like uh, Jewish until the end and everything's equal or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. A very Jewish line, yeah. So on like, yeah. Um, so knight takes, b takes. Actually, like, well, we were teasing Phil last night because because <laughs> I think it's... um. Because he was frightened of the pairing, of course. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so he might, I think he, he would be happy enough with the draw, I think. <laughs> we scared him. Um, castles, castles, rookie eight. Ah, Belgrade Gambit. Playable against Masters. No, says Passporn. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop g5 h6 bishop h4 they've played a lot of moves actually d5 yeah takes and g5 here cd do you know anything about the belgrade gambit lisa um i played when i was eight <laughs> But the thing that now I'm teaching my students uh, to play this opening and uh, yeah. ask them to remember theory, to tell the like tenth or eleventh move, and that that's all. Yeah. H C takes takes. Okay, so we've got White having the bishop pair, um, but a slightly compromised pawn structure. Knight e four comes in. Oh, and now takes. Well, the thing is, uh, again, we shop of opposite colors. Yeah. This is going to be a draw, isn't it? This I, game will be a draw. I or maybe they have to play it on for a long time. If, they're, if they try to attack, if once they try to attack, then it's... That's true. Yeah, with well, opposite, No, you're absolutely right. With opposite color bishops, it's a good point, isn't it? That with opposite yeah. color bishops, it's only a draw if you get like right to the end game and all the major pieces come off. But if you actually keep the queens on and go for an attack and then and i suppose you can attack can't you against this king because these pawns have come out a bit and so you could imagine um oh here we go here f4. we go here we go f4 yeah actually not now i feel, oh. <laughs> I, feel so sure. I feel probably well, why has a greater chance to win wow okay and um she's gonna go for it Okay, because because the white the queen can come out, perhaps to here, and then maybe bring bring rook to the center, that sort of thing. Yeah. Very yeah. exciting. I think, yeah, I think it's hard for black. <laughs> it feels hard. Yeah. I mean, Phil's actually a quite a solid player. He's he's quite quite a reliable player. But Phil's king looks weaker. Yes. Yeah, very weak. Yeah, it does. It does. Oh, we're going to have to keep an eye on this. Okay. Um, how would you defend actually for black? Mm. I suppose you have to get this bishop. You could get that. This bishop could come out that way. I suppose. Yeah. Oh, so probably bishop a six now and uh, if you go bishop a6 the kick this this rook can't go f3 to there yeah. because bishop e bishop e2 and two coming in rook f2 you, is more likely rook f2 you can do yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, um, <laughs> it's quite it's hard it's really exciting couldn't it oh, okay i got an idea how about just bishop c4 and then c4 here yeah. playing positionally <laughs> Okay, Queen H5 playing attacking. Uh, 
Oh no. <laughs> no, I think I think I'm gonna. <laughs> you turn it doesn't away. work. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work. Too many weaknesses for purple deck. Because yeah. I want because the point of Bishop C four is why I want to defend D five one because without without Bishop C four I can't even go for Queen Queen E seven because I wanted to go yeah. to Queen, queen E seven but D five yeah. one so that's the problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, maybe he'll just go out. Oh no, I was going to say maybe he'll just come out this way to defend it. But then you've got well, F5 is possible. Yeah, yeah, F five. It's a bit of a choice because you might not want to just because um, you want to open it up. So so maybe he he might want to sort of commit her to doing that. But yeah, he can then always come back and come back around the other way. Can't yeah. he? Ah, this is too too miserable. Yeah. Right, sort of Those white squares look vulnerable to say the least. Mm. Says pass pawn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll keep an eye on that. Um, all right, and uh, let's see. Should we see the Battle of the Peters? <laughs> Power A against Peter Wells. Um, okay, C4, so 3D5, D3 takes. I, I would say Peter Sorry is a really strong player. But because I I lost to him and he almost played perfectly and he drew Shreya yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's I, um he's one of my teammates actually. I played he oh. plays um for the Barbican for and CL. Um, yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, I've played in team with him for a while and he's oh yes very um yeah and I lost I lost to him in four and CL exactly. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, 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 like two years ago. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And he's he um obviously he's been playing for many many years. Free day master. Um, but he's kind of yeah kept. No, when I say kept his strength, I mean he his. I think he's been rated over twenty three hundred anyway. Yeah, yeah, he's really quite strange. But so that that's why I would say a lot of people yeah. wouldn't agree on my point that he's strong because he's rating. But I, yeah. I feel like well, twenty three fifty plus. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I mean, like we're all dropping. You're not. You're not dropping yeah. rating points. I mean, we all yeah. we all above a certain age are dropping. Well, actually, points. before I go to twenty three hundred, uh, twenty two seventy, yeah. I was twenty twenty two for forty two at some point. So, uh, yeah, basically, basically just last year. So I was yeah. dropping like very seriously because because I find that in this in this country, lots of players with twenty one hundred are super strong. And I just lost, lost to too many 2100 players, and that's why I, I think there's a lot of 1700s who are pretty strong. I don't <laughs> but, um, so have you got more tournaments lined up? Um, me is this year, yeah, uh, yeah, pro probably some ra random events in, Euro in Europe, and probably European individual. But oh, lovely, oh, very good, yeah, good luck with that, yeah. When, when, when does that one happen? Um, 18th of April. Okay, coming soon. Quite soon. Yeah. yeah. Because location is good. So probably this time lots of people, lots of uh, players from England they're going because I think it's because the location is quite nice. It's, where where is it held this time? It's in an uh, in island of uh, Greece. Ah oh, lovely. That's why. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Oh good. Yeah, that, that's why probably this, this should be the only time I go because um next year I, I I'll probably I'll start working. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but you, what you need to do is make sure you get an arrangement with your employer that you can have a bit of extra holiday in order to play chess. They normally let you if you ask them and you say just how good you are. Um, <laughs> no, 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 I'm serious. I'm serious. Yeah, say, say you're, you know, uh, British champion and all this kind of stuff. That, 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 yeah, hopefully. But so, yeah, so you've got, you're in your last year of studies now. Um, no, I finished study. I'm taking a gap year. Yeah, I, I, I have visa problem. I can't. I can't continue my study in the uh, pre GCE program. So that's why I had to take a gap year now, and uh, it will start oh. September, and it will the schedule will be quite uh tight. So probably, probably I'll play chess less at yeah. that time. Let's see. I don't know yet. Yeah. Oh, so you've got to you've got to get a job by September. Is that what you're not saying? really? But um. Yeah. 
you know, just a just a training program, and after that,、okay. I, I got a job. But this is actually the same as、uh, as a job. I was just just to do what a teacher、uh, will do, it, but、mm-hmm. just just a, still training, and then、mm-hmm. become a formal teacher, and that's yeah, that's how it works. Okay. Oh, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so Peter Sowery has given up his sea pawn. Yeah, Peter Wells took, and he's Peter Wells is、mm. at the moment trying to hang on to it. But you've got this ninety five, and of course, and yeah, this structure also is quite familiar to me. Yeah, yeah, and c six. Yeah, I think the point of c six is that if knight takes c six, then. Queen B six. And the、uh, the knight has nowhere to for this card attack. If the knight takes B eight, then rook takes B eight. Knight go for yeah, yeah. The knight go goes to anywhere else. Just Bishop B seven. Yeah, I see. So White's kind of got the pawn back, but Black's now got the bishop on the long diagonal, and it's all kind of nice. Yeah, and has really strong like a、uh, queenside pawns. Yeah, look at these. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, b three and queen c seven now. Yeah. And I, I actually, Peter will be really familiar with these. Ah,、uh, uh, Peter. Peter Wells will be really familiar with these positions, and probably Peter Sowery too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, oh, and I wanted to see this game as well.、Um, Jeremy Jason against Steve Dishman. Because,、mm-hmm. um, sorry, Jaden, Jeremy.、Um, Jaden's been gaining loads of rating points recently, so I think he's still, I think, underrated at nineteen sixty-eight. So let's see how he's doing against Steve Dishman, who's also actually been playing a lot recently. Yeah. B four, so stopping black. Playing any kind of c five, so black goes instead with the e five. Yeah, takes a knight g six. Okay, and so white gives up the pawn on e six to just compromise black's pawn structure a bit, and rook d one castles. So. This looks quite nice for white lining up the bishop against the queen.、Um, mm. Black has this open. But the c five is a really horrible threat for for black. Which one? C c five. Yeah. Yeah. The next move. Yeah. And、um, and this rook's lined up against this queen. Yes, I'll I'll see another structure quite similar to Catalan. So if Black manages to play C five, then Black is just better. Yeah. Okay, and that's where they're at. All right, we're going to head back to the top games.、Um, let's see, let's see Jonah against Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> so we had it.、Uh, we'd swapped off here. And d five for Jonah. Mickey drops back to e seven. Knight a three, attacking this pawn. Yeah. Oh, and Mickey just ignores it. Yeah, I, I think th- there's a point of ignoring the pawn.、Um, yeah, I don't remember what what's the point, but I've been explaining to my students like. Um, yeah, pr- probably taking the pawn now is not so useful, and the、uh, black can gain time to for attacking、um, from the king side. Yeah, just give up the pawn and just kind of go for this attack. So, yeah, attack, launching this one. 
<laughs> or just maybe my h4 just h4 yeah okay and still i mean it's not checkmate yet oh this this bishop's nice too yeah yeah this is just potential then uh danger i'll say if h3 is played then if black can put something on g3 uh if h3 uh, I mean, is played not, not all, not, not all, but, yeah oh uh, yeah yeah but like yeah, later. Later, yeah. What well, as well happening again? It's only a pawn. It's only a pawn. Black's given up as well. Um, <laughs> so if you can just get the queen back round or something like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. That's why H three is played. Oh, it did play H three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Play H three first before without allowing this one to come in. Um, okay, bishop back to d7 and knight h2. Yeah, so Jonah's not allowing Mickey to do any of this kind of play and very <laughs> wise for yeah. Jonah. And so Mickey now castles. Okay, so just a reminder so Jonah needs to win this game in order to get a GM norm. Yeah. And um, both players would like to win to. They're, they're both half a point off the tournament lead. So both players are going to be playing um, very much for the win. Um, yeah. And so we'll see how it develops. So Mickey was, was if, if Jonah had just played on the queen side, taken that pawn, Mickey was going to launch some kind of kingside attack. Um, now, what, were, what would you say are Jonah's, how would Jonah play to win this? <laughs> Maybe just play and uh, and see what happens, sort of thing. Well, it's hard to say because I can see lots of plans for why. Um, the thing is, I'm not sure whether the a3 knight is um, properly placed because yeah. usually the knight should be somewhere else. Come over <laughs> right around here or something. Yeah, <laughs> it should be on b3. And this knight, the the only good thing for this knight is that it's easier for white to attack as b5 pawn. But I'm yeah. not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how good it is to take the b5 pawn in the future if one can, can gain a pawn. Yeah, so to be consistent, he might continue to attack this pawn. Yeah. I, I guess you could you could do it along this diagonal with like the queen the queen or the bishop um attacking across here, get this bishop out and then maybe even bring your rook across. But then you're getting everything over to the queen side. So if black <laughs> does manage to organize the attack, you um now, this knight here, he could perhaps bring it out this way. Yeah, that's a common plan. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It feels different because usually mm. you're knight on g3 and a knight g4 and knight i5. Uh, this is a common plan. But now knight g4, <laughs> if, let's say knight g4 and probably knight takes, pawn takes, and the queen, queen c8. So the pawn is more vulnerable now. I'm going to color it red. Yeah. Yeah. And if you defend it with something like three, it's it's well, no, you can't even do it. It's even illegal. I was going to say it's going to be horrible, but it's actually illegal as well. Yeah. Yeah. So you maybe have to push it. Then I would say black or lots of things. Like let's say f5. F5. Yeah. Then let's say takes. Bishop take. Right then. I think I think we're gonna have to take this pawn on b five to just kind of oh. <laughs> to just kind of justify that we're yeah. I feel like the king side's a bit weak. It's so weak. Like in future, even i four or even some something on f two. Yeah. Yeah. But otherwise, right? So you. 
you're going to have to get this over this side, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So I was that's why I, I was saying the night is a bit weird. Eh? It's three nights. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, and Jonah is thinking it was not nine G four anyway. Yeah. So yeah, Jonah just began to think in middle game a lot. Mm. Oh, he's having a long think now. Yeah. 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 He's probably wondering what to do with these two knights. <laughs> okay. Let's Tivi and Francesco. Oh. So, that's a solid Sicilian, and it's become crazy enough. <laughs> so now, where did we leave this one? Um, um, I can just click somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Somewhere around here. Yeah. So rook c8, knight d4, back here. Yeah, we saw this b3, queen c7, rook c1. So all quite solid so far. And now, now, Tivi starts launching his pawns up the board. So h3, bishop e8, and f4. Queen back to b8. So I guess just taking it out of the line of fire. Yeah, and probably preparing for b5. b5 to come in, which you can. Yeah, because you've got this bishop and the queen defending. Yeah. Um, and a4 to stop it. Okay. And now it is going to be hard to get this b5 in with yeah. these two here. Uh, so knight d7 potentially coming round to here. f5 and knight c5. Yeah, okay. So black's kind of keeping an eye on this mm -hmm. point. So if the queen comes across. So what right, what if the queen comes across? Let's say the queen comes across. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. But probably black has bishop f6. Bishop f6. And this one is on prees. So it needs to be moved. Then this pawn's on. Yeah. Yeah. So what about bishop e3? And I d3? Oh gosh. <laughs> no. Well, then that's probably Black's idea. That's the idea. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, so Tivi playing for the win, says Passpawn. Yes, I think so. But well, black could be as well because uh, yeah, this now looks tricky. But you have to move the queen, right? So um, <laughs> yeah, so maybe more solid then is is queen e three, keeping this knight defended. I have a bishop d five then. Queen oh, three, bishop g five now. Yeah, attack everything. No. That's funny, isn't it? Yeah. It's actually quite, Black's got quite a lot of counterplay. Mm. Yeah, so that's a problem with f5. So I, I would say if white wants to attack through f5, it's quite common. But uh, and white just need to be aware of lots, lots of things. Uh, so I would yeah. say this on e7, it is a dark scrappy show for black, it's become better. Because there will be no pawns blocking it. Yeah. And those e5 scores and like outposts for black. So, yeah, that's a problem. So maybe, do, you, do you think f5 was maybe then a little bit premature then for Tibby? Mm, um, I'm not sure, but probably. But I, I think probably black out something faster. Yeah. Wow. I see five. I think he's still going to go queen g3. But then, yeah, so here. Is he having a bit of a think? It's, I, I'm just going to click on there and see at the times. He, yeah, maybe. Um, so queen g3, bishop f6. And 
Because you you don't want to drop the knight back because this pawn just goes. Yeah. So it's not. And and this if you you can't even give this away because it's check when you do that. Maybe defend with the other knight. I know then you still got. Also also e four oh e four pawn. Everything's ended just the right amount of time, so you can't move any of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. That's tricky. That's surprisingly tricky. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. <laughs> yeah, interesting game. Yeah. All right. Um, so here we go. Ian Gourlay, Daniel Fernandez. So this one we did look at it. We had we had H H four. We saw H four. Knight yeah. G seven. We saw, and then we were wondering if um, Ian was going to follow up straight away with H five, and he did. H five, Bishop G seven, um, D three, Knight C five, attacking this Queen, which drops back. And ninety six. Okay, so now White could White could think about H six right away, and Daniel's Bishop, but it can come can come forwards, so it could come. Yeah, out this way, and then you find that. Um, White's still got to get these ones out. So Ian decided against and played bishop e3, knight e7, and actually took instead. Uh, takes, takes, exchange rooks. OK, and bishop g4. He wants to sort of take off and leave that one a bit weaker. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I didn't allow it. F5 and bishop h3. Mm -hmm. These are quite good for black. Yeah. What the bishop? Yeah, blocking this one off. Yeah, this looks quite nice for black. Because mm -hmm. this bishop's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and white does have the bishop pair, but as you say, this one is quite limited in its scope. Mm. All right. Oh, guess what? Guess what? This one. <laughs> we thought, we thought. <laughs> Already I could do agree. We thought D5 and we were wondering, but then all it was, two more moves. E takes, Bishop takes, and they agreed a draw already. Yeah, but so why that D5? was Matthew offering the draw then. <laughs> I wonder why D5 shows like plus, uh, Plus zero point seven, so it's quite a big advantage. So, ah, oh, that's interesting. Maybe they do go. <laughs> on. Let's put yeah. it on. They do they go e five. Before, right? We looked at this. Okay, so e five, bishop b four. So now we thought white couldn't. Do f four. Okay, that's yeah. I, I got it. Let's give it up. You give up. You give up the rook. F four. That's hard. <laughs> yeah, and and the computer's changed its mind a little bit. It's gone down from plus six to plus point four. So oh, here, here. Oh. Because even now, this this is still pinned, right? You still can't yeah. take um, g6, king h2, knight e4. Why is just giving up the exchange, right? Yeah, and as I say, it's quite hard to think of this idea. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's not. Longer, it's not obvious yeah. here. Um, rook c8. D1. They just white well, is just giving up the exchange and just carried on playing and said this is good. I mean, the, this pawn's blocked, right? Yeah. I suppose you could do that at some point. Or... Yeah, it's, it's possible. Yeah. It looks nice actually. <laughs> it looks really nice for for white. Yeah. So knight e c five and b four. They're doing. So they've just got kind of nice pieces. 
um, knight e6, bishop b3. Yeah. Queen c7, black can't really attack white. Um, but it's still, it's still nothing like, it's not like a concrete white's breaking through anywhere or anything like that. It's uh, kind of just play positional. Give up the exchange and play positionally. <laughs> yeah, positionally with a, with a piece down, so the exchange down. Yeah. It's quite hard to accept it. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. And they're still showing whites, you know, whites got a good advantage. <laughs> Interesting. I wasn't I wouldn't have done that, I don't think. No. Would you have done would you have thought about it even? Uh depends on my opponent for sure, yeah. Yeah. If my opponent is like um quite high rated, I wouldn't do that. I would just play for yeah. a draw. If my opponent's quite weak and I had to win, probably I'll do that. <laughs> You'd give it a go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, interesting. Okay. So but they've agreed to draw. So now this was the other one we thought might might end up drawing. Um and so yeah. Oh look, he's got he's got his three not quite an Alakine's gun, but he's got his three he's he's very stacked with his major pieces on the A file. And yeah. and so so is Rich as well. In fact, if Rich Gets his queen there. You've got three. You've got an, all the major pieces <laughs> on that paper. So, but we reckon. So, but what? It's got a slight plus according to the engine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he wants to move knight c4. It's coming up with all this exciting stuff. So he wants to move knight c4. So you could kind of leap into there. And if if takes. So here, here. Yeah, then this bishop stuck. Yeah, so that's what I was trying to do. Oh, must he play this? He's done it. Yeah, <laughs> probably he got a good chance. Clever. Clever, because clever. He's, he's really good at finding this moves because once he played against me and it's kind of similar. And the, yeah. he played an IC5, yeah, he was black. And I just immediately feel very really horrible after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, this is very nice, though. Very good. Nice move, isn't it? Nice. Yeah. Very good. So he's not just playing for a draw. He's 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 trying to. I think he's playing for a win, but probably uh, Richard. He's playing for a Richard draw. Richard wouldn't mind so much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Where do you want to go next? Um. We could see. Shreyas. Shreyas. <laughs> yeah. Because because the Sicilian ones should be quite interesting. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Um, yeah, so this was a Sicilian. Yeah, it seems a black survives here, right? So we had something like yeah, this was this was something where we had knight we had these moves in. I uh, rook h two we had a knight I, he drops back to f six. And white carries on with his plans of pushing all the pawns. I can turn our engine off because of, <laughs> um bishop c six, bishop h three. So Shreya still hasn't given away what he's doing with his king. Queen b7, attacking this pawn on e4. So e5, takes, takes, and intermediate move, rook d8. He drops back and we've got the exchange, and then knight e4. Yeah, I think black survives here because there's no more attack for for white for, in, for the king side. So I think probably mm -hmm. the best way for black to play in this in this kind of Sicilia is just to leave the king in the center, don't castle and go for yeah. it. By and try to trade pieces and uh, trade to a barrier pawn structure for black, and then black will be fine. Looks quite nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Black it looks yeah. Because that knight in the center, I guess they're gonna have to take it. Lorenzo will have to take it because you don't want them taken on there. Um, and then, like these three pawns, I'm just kind of thinking that one might get weak. Yeah, that's a problem. And H4 also. What are you reading for? Yeah. Okay. 
and all right, so so while we're doing Sicilians, we better see board one. <laughs> okay. Oh, and so this one, we now do have um, B4 in. So there's something like this. Five, my e8, h4. So both sides are looking forward. Okay, rook c1. Yeah, it's quite interesting idea, but quite common in this Sicilian just to uh, possibly b3 to six is b3, and the rook is facing the queen. Yeah. So if that one takes, we've got this one. Yeah, and in, in the future, even c3 is possible. Yeah, C3. And if they go B3, you might go A3 and just block it all. Yeah, then that's completely fine for, for white. Yeah, because then these ones can keep going. Yeah. Okay. But very different, very different um, from the Shreyas' game, where in Shreyas' game, the centers opened up and Basically, all the pawns have come come off in the center, and you've just got these kind of weak white pawns. Whereas here, we've got both sides throwing their pawns up the board um, yeah. and going for an attack. And then we had another completely different Sicilian, and that was um, that was F the file. three, wasn't it? With the F file. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so, so queen c2 was played like after knight, knight c5. Okay, so knight c5, queen c2. Maybe that's wise, right? Just keeping. Yeah, like, now the queen is far from, far from the. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. This attack. Um, you'd kind of want this rook back here, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. And so bishop f6 anyway. Mm -hmm. Bishop b3. A5 and Bishop F2. So White's taken a little bit of time out over the last few moves to defend. Yeah. Black's never going to get this B5 in. <laughs> Not really, but. <laughs> A5 is kind of preventing B4, so now C5 nice is a good thing. This is nice. This is really nice, isn't it? I don't know how yet. Because it's kind of, like at the moment, it's tying down this whole queen to defend. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so Black's done quite well over the last few moves. Yes. Yeah. OK. All right, we'll go, let's go check Badana again. So this was the opposite colored bishops. I will do Supratis as well. Mm. In the now where's Badana? There she is. Um, oh, C6. Wow. It's a faster, actually faster than the idea of Bishop A6 and C4 to protect a D5 pawn. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were looking at that. Um, so f4, so it went king g7, queen g2, c6. Ah, yeah, um, yeah, but I still, I feel, I feel white tend to win because let's say, uh, let's imagine if white managed to bring the bishop to d4, let's say bishop f2 and bishop d4. Yeah, <laughs> the king looks to be really wow. Miserable. Yeah, yeah. That looks scary. Yeah. <laughs> she ah, she's done it. She's done it yeah. straight away. And so, what if Black takes on f four? Just pick up d four. Just bishop d4. So maybe takes that way. Bishop d4. And white can just recapture. Yeah. Okay. Is 
this is quite an aggressive place. So here, um, how would you defend? You got like um, this kind of thing. To, that's horrible. Then on the one. Yeah, but that six will be a horrible weakness. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe you just have to allow it and let the bishop come to d4. Well, maybe try your bishop a6 plan again. Still bishop d4. Still bishop d4. Yeah. That could take oh queen d4. <laughs> yeah, that's you can't you can't do it. Yeah. So just move the so king back and then move the rook. Yeah. Oh, what I'm thinking, <laughs> what is winning here? What is winning? Wow. <laughs> oh, I hope um, I hope they come and show us the game afterwards. <laughs> 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 I think Phil probably would. So, uh, yeah. Um, well, Badana will come, but <laughs> help Maybe Badana will come and Phil wouldn't. <laughs> uh, actually, it's quite funny, funny because, um, like, Badana's the world under eight girls yeah. champion. And Phil was not, not the year that's just gone, but actually the year before that. He was one of the four people that won the British Seniors Championship. Oh. <laughs> it was like the youth against experience in this game. Well, so now, now I tend to feel like Budana um, can win like more because I guess a senior, it's usually easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 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 that's very mean, Len Yao, You know because yeah, I know. You know he's actually he's not that old a senior. He's yeah, but because they're just some tricks to play against seniors. Some people know, but the others uh, don't know. No, so. You're absolutely right, and I don't disagree with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, and it's I'm cool. sure he's more frightened than she is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, but we've got to be very. We'll be very gentle with him if they do come. Yeah. If they do come and show it, and she does win, we'll be very gentle. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I mean, it's um, quite a um, good spirit to play on and yes. um, chess yeah. is a good um a hobby uh life uh, lifetime hobby that's a good a really good spirit i would say absolutely absolutely and he's only one of the younger seniors you know there's two bands of seniors so there's like over 50s and then there's over 65s and he's mm. he's not long been a senior oh so, so he's only over 50 he's only over 50 so that's not that senior it's yeah. not that senior yeah yeah. Ah, oh, 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 we've got something F5. Pretty different. So bishop f2 and f5, f5 has come in. Wow. Mm, makes sense. Bishop d4, right? Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bishop d4. Bishop d4. Yeah. So or maybe Phil will come forward. Yeah. King d6, really. Six. Yeah, come and attack with the king. Yeah, so, so his idea is quite okay. Yeah. Hmm. Because actually, then, how does white... Uh, white keeps... Oh, I suppose you could also... Um, you've always got that one you could come... Yeah. You want to get the queen kind of around the back, don't you? Mm. <laughs> Yeah. It's not so easy to continue this attack. Does Lanya, do you have social media? <laughs> Lanya, they're I'm asking not. you every day. You gotta you gotta start doing this stuff, uh, you know? Uh, I mean, just Facebook, Instagram, search my name, I think you'll find me. <laughs> yeah. I have every uh, almost every social media. Yeah, I don't have Twitter, but uh, I have Facebook, Instagram. Yes. Okay. So that's where we're at. Um, Bishop D. Let's let's say Bishop D four. Let's say King G six. How do you come in here from take here? Hmm. Maybe rook. Yeah. 
I kind of want to get this rook in, but I'm not sure whether you want it sort of round. I think white doesn't really want to exchange rooks because this rook's lovely, isn't it? This is really nice. Yeah. Too many, so many Lan Yao's in the world. Hello, uh, I know that, but, but I think it's quite obvious because um, I think I think uh, for my Facebook, I, it says uh, I'm, I'm graduated from UCL, and you can click in, and you you recognize who is my very. Uh, I would say it's quite quite obvious. Hmm. Right, chess piece into take the queen bishop f4. Take with the queen bishop f4. Take with queen and bishop f4. Right, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> well, what's the position? What's the position is that? Before. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Um, which move is that? I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> well, how oh, here we are, here we are. Sorry, it was just because it was making me... Yeah. You know how it sometimes doesn't let you put comments on? It was uh, saying not wanting a comment. So instead of bishop f2, mm. f2 5 possible. So it was a lo long time ago. Is that the bishop a? Yeah. So here, let's go to here. So fg5. Yeah. Yeah. And if take if, if queen takes, then bishop f4. Mm. Going for this one. Yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this is winning for, for white. And if pawn takes, pawn then, to the um, moon. <laughs> we shall back to again. Yeah, you could still come around, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, so maybe she should have. Maybe it will be the same. He can still take. She can still do it. Yeah. yeah. Then bishop h6 and rook f7. Wow, Badana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So bishop d4 was played by Badana. Bishop d4, she's done. So we're expecting maybe queen, king g6. Yeah. And probably so, then, then. Can we still do the same line here? So he takes pawn. Oh, maybe. Oh, queen. Now queen takes, so that's the difference. Queen takes. Yeah. Right. Okay, and coming in. Yeah. King g6 has now been played, so we're up to here. Yeah. So that's the point of taking this g5 pawn earlier because then I can only take with h pawn, queen can't yeah. take. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you've kind of narrowed down black's options. But you're right about this um, opposite bishops and the attacking here. Mm. Okay. All right. Shall we? Let's. Let's. I was going to uh, look at um, Supratid's game as well. Let's yeah. See that one. Um, so he's black. Um, oh. So just taken on e4. I guess white will recapture there. Probably with the rook. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, isn't it? Because Black's kind of he brought the pawns forward um, here, which could be attacking White, but it also could leave Black a little bit weaker. Yeah. How about Queen F five now? Queen F five. If Black tries to trade the Queen, then that will be fine. I would say. Yeah. <laughs> it's losing already for white. Oh god, yeah. Hey, queen can't do that. That's what I mean. Can't do that. Can't do that. Yeah. And um 
But it's quite a nasty pin, actually, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know what to do. I'll say um, that doesn't look well for for white. Okay. So, so here, probably white Maybe can have some knight. Then knight takes if is f five possible? F five. And this one. Okay, so maybe um. Wait, so maybe well, this is very interesting. So maybe why can't take? Maybe can't take. Yeah. If why can't take, then black is threatening e three immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is <laughs> this is this is a big threat. Um. Oh, I, I saw one thing interesting. I'm thinking about d five. D five. Okay. So d five can then black take. We see. And Queen takes a seven. Ah, nice. I'm not sure. So what I about queen here? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure is whether there, white can go can, can, Is there then a perpetual? Yeah. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Queen c1. King c1. And, oh, so the, we're going to say, so can this king... It couldn't come around here, could it? Yeah, that's a point. <laughs> okay, so takes. Yeah. Queen a8. Check. But if we come here. Oh, if this knight moves, would, are we taking on d1? Uh, well, if knight takes c4 or e4, then the knight is kind of. It's double check, so. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and we can just run away, though. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's quite a guy. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of complicated. I don't know what is happening here. It's very complicated. Oh, gosh. Bishop g4, says chess piece India. Let's see. Um, so. Well, which point, Bishop? After queen, a, after queen a7. Oh. So we <laughs> had queen oh, a7. No, I think Queen S1 doesn't really work. Maybe it doesn't work. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, giving us escape routes as well. It's quite yeah. tricky because it seems that the, king, the black king is very, very dangerous, but white doesn't have any useful checks. These aren't so so much in the action, are they? The queen's like really, really active, and then yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, we have some more moves. So yeah, my, so we yeah, have force played, and then. Queen f5. Four and queen f5. Okay. So again, it's this pin. There's pins all over. This pin and this pin. And if, if queen takes, presumably just bishop takes. And okay. So say um say say defend. Then oh, I suppose you've just got just got takes, yeah. takes. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, so that's where they're at. So what can white do? Maybe white's in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's looking good for Supratit against Robert McLean. Let's head back to the top. Um, we better see. Let's see Jonah and Mickey. Wait a moment. Uh, I, I got. I got something interesting, but I'm just. Oh, can't you anything. go on. Tell me. Mm, let's say King C one. King C one. Queen takes. Queen takes F two. Yeah. Knight D six. Ooh! Intermediate <laughs> check. So um, King C seven doesn't work because. Yeah, you can't do King C seven because it's check. No, hang on. Yeah. In B A then just take the queen. Gosh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so all right. Oh no, can queen can, can, can what about the four? Yeah, I saw the comment. Yeah. It takes nine. <laughs> Yeah, I, I stopped the horrible yeah. trick. <laughs> yeah, so probably, yeah, because I just saw the, the idea of 96. Yes, like, yeah. very nice, very um, nice. <laughs> well, it's still not working. <laughs> <laughs> Black can do this. Cool. Alrighty. 
<laughs> right, we're going to see yeah. Jonah and Mickey then. Yeah. Um, Ned okay. has played. Oh no, he's played. <laughs> That's what we said he couldn't play. Well, but uh, the thing is that he played with shot D3 first before Knight G4. Right. And Mickey just keep on ignoring this F B5 pawn. Giving that away. Yeah. And Jonah didn't take, but just Knight, Knight G4 instead. They're both ignoring it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so probably Mickey's going to take this knight, though. Hmm. Takes, takes. These squares are looking. Yeah. See. Queen C eight. Queen C eight. Oops, missed. So you can defend by dropping this back. Yeah, that might be the point to shot these three first. Yeah. Okay. And so how to make progress then? Because what if you do just come in? Yeah, knight f4. Knight f4. Mm. And Bishop has to take, otherwise just knight you 2 and Bishop takes g4. Yeah. So takes. Mm -hmm. Takes and just play positionally. Also, not knight b5 yeah. possible here. Knight b5. Yeah. Finally, take the pawn. <laughs> now, now I can come to d4, and that that looks good. Yeah. Yeah. So black could play maybe on the e file, but white's already taken this b pawn, and. The knight can get back into play, which is one of the things yeah. White was sort of worried about. Mm -hmm. So that's not too bad for White. It's yeah. good for White, even. Okay. okay. Yeah. If White wants to win, probably that, that will take more effort. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hard to win. Queen C8 here. And then black maybe wants to look after this pawn. It's not that easy to look after the pawn, though. Yep. So probably just ignore the pawn. Yeah. Yeah, just keep ignoring it. Okay. I don't see much other ideas other than this knight f4. Yeah, so probably just knight f4. <laughs> and then play on like this. Yeah. Knight b5 or rook e8. Rook e8. Probably it's hard for white to defend against the pawn, so black may take the pawn back. Yeah. So maybe here. Yeah, and it takes. <laughs> it's still hard for white to win. <laughs> yeah. It's hard, hard for either of them, isn't it? But they both yeah. want to win. They're both going to. So this could go for a little while more. Um, yeah. But I would say probably Jonah wants to win more because he, the norm. Yeah. yeah, he's working really hard and he yeah, yeah, he's even didn't go to university because he just wants to work on chess first and probably want to be a GM first. Yeah. So that's why I would say Jonah wants to win. Do you more. know has he got any GM norms already? Oh uh, no, not yet. Not yet. First one. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. He he must get no. He must be nervous, right? Yeah. Yeah. But in a way, playing Mickey might make it less ner make you less nervous because um, it's one where that it's going to be really hard to beat him. Whatever. 
<laughs> Whereas if you're playing someone you feel like you should beat, then you must get really nervous to go for a norm like that. Yeah. Yeah. Tree point. Hello again. <laughs> Hello, New York. Tree point. So it works very hard on only chess. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I, I, I know who is three points. I know you do, <laughs> and I, I know what he means because Jonah only plays chess, and uh, he was. I heard that he was admitted by University of Warwick, but he decided to go for chess first, and, and then and then go to university probably later after he got yeah. GM. So so he must be very stressful because if he do only chess. Then he just wants yes. to play more all the time, and uh, especially he plays so well in this event, and uh, he he wants to go for a GM norm. And uh, if he got a norm this time, it will be a big breakthrough for him. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it's a it's always a bit of a dilemma whether to concentrate only on chess or do your studies as well. Because I know you you were very keen to do both, weren't you? Yeah, because for, for yeah. me, I'm quite different in personality. Because if, if I only do chess all the day, I, I tend yeah. to play worse. I've tried, actually. Yeah. So if no, I, just... I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. That it makes it it's more fun if you've got something else that you do um, as well. And then, uh, and, but I know what you mean about it's stressful as well. That if you've got other things that you're doing, you it's like you don't feel like you've given up everything to do chess. You're, you, you feel like you it's kind of okay if you don't if you don't um yeah this is for me but you know some people they just need to concentrate on one thing if they study they yeah, just... yeah. yeah 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 but me exactly the opposite yeah okay queen c8 happened yeah yes wow okay and so yeah we've got our with this we've got our line that we expect We'll let them. We'll let them have a think, though. So they uh, they're both. It's not too far different on time. Joan is a little bit down on the clock, but actually not too bad. Passporn remembers him beating Chenayev when he was nine years old. That's pretty close to the record, isn't it, of beating a GM? <laughs> nine years old, young to beat a GM. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Bortwitz <laughs> against Francesco Sonis. So this is the this was we're calling this one the positional Sicilian, although yeah. then then um, Tivi did did start going for the attack. So how did this go? We've had um, we looked at Bishop F six, Bishop B three, A five, Bishop F two, B six. So Rook C D one, Queen B seven coming in. Um, Bishop G3. Yeah. So black sort of keeping an eye on all these yeah. things. Um, Bishop B5. Bishop H4. Ah, OK. Attacking this rook, a sort of counter-attacking move, bringing the bishop forward. So rook D7. Yeah, I think White's keeping an eye on that one, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, so it's quite complicated, but both sides just doesn't have any good plans and good attacks. So I, I actually really hate, really hate this kind of position. Do you? Yeah. Both, yeah. Yeah. Like it's not a clear plan at all, is it? You just kind of, you got to defend and attack at the same time. Just trying to think of what what you'd try and activate as like because even if you're moving, say you wanted to move this rook to here or something, then you've got less defending that one. So every every time you move something around, you yeah, um, you have to be careful of what you're not defending anymore. Yeah. I mean, so so headache to look at this kind of position. Yeah. Okay. I can I can switch it. One's too much. Let's let's see. Uh, let's see what we haven't talked about yet. Let's see. Um, Other Sicilian. Let's see. 
Right. Who haven't we looked? We haven't looked at Indy Southcott Myers against oh, that, Ivano Modric. That that boy, I I know him. Yeah. I so, played him. Yeah. Have you played him? Yeah. Yeah. So he's doing some kind of. Um, he's got this pawn structure in the middle, right, with this d4 e5, and. Black's actually just sidestepped um, King H8. I guess White might have been um, trying to do something against um, G7. You probably need more pieces in, though, so maybe you need this one to come in or something. Because um, that one might sometimes sacrifice itself. Black... If you do move it, Black might have a thing like Knight D5. Yeah, but why don't we just keep the defense guard for white and just keep on attacking the king? Yeah. Also, it's possible that white may occupy the c5 square. As they put the rook on c1 and knight e4 and knight c5. Ah, like maybe this one and just come in here and be a bit more positional. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so sometimes if black has a defense square, then white will have a. C by square, so there's uh, lots of positions are like that. Yeah, knight d5 and white gets here. Do you think Indy might be tempted to push another one up the board? Mm, um, I'm not sure because it seems that if f4 is pushed, then, then the bishop won't be protected, and knight d5 just directly attacking the bishop. Oh, yeah. 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 And also, black may play f5 at some point to, to, to defend, to prevent like the, the threat of uh, f4 and f5. Yeah. So it's quite hard for white to attack. I would say the main problem is that white doesn't have a life square bishop. So, so that's the thing. Yeah. If white has a life square bishop, then that, that will be easier, much easier. Yeah. He swapped it off quite recently. So we had it to sit here. Mm. And then this is where they came off. Takes, takes. I guess White couldn't really avoid it because. Yeah. It's pinned. Oops, that's not our. That's, that wasn't actually played. Yeah. This, it's only played up to there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that's Indy. And I'm going to give you another one you haven't seen. <laughs> We're going to look at. We didn't see this one. So Adam Nawalaniek against Boris Golubovich. And I'll tell you what, it's another Sicilian, so we're going to have to see it all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this one. Oh. Oh, you're not going to like this though. C four, are you? Yeah, C four. I, I hate, I hate C four the most. <laughs> I mean, for both sides, I just hate this C four thing. <laughs> it's a bit more of a positional. Oh, E five. I was going to say how positional it is. Mm. E five. So take... positional. I'll say just. Uh... <laughs> Recapture the pawn, but friends, and then Fianchetto. Yeah, this is nice and positional. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's a funny pawn structure, though, isn't it? Look at these ones: two here and two here. It's kind of controlling these d d file squares a lot. Yeah. Right in and back. F5, threatening F4. Okay, now I tend to prefer black because black is a pawn up. Yeah, and attacking. And the white just didn't manage to take the pawn back. But that's the thing. And it doesn't look like they're going to. I mean, that one's pretty well defended. Look, this, this, and yeah. this. 
they're all defending. You wouldn't want to move it though. Yeah. Rook F7, yeah, probably wise, just kind of defending that in case this one ever moves. And D3, yeah. Okay, so black's kind of extra pawn. And white doesn't have the attack. All right, so that was that one. Yeah. Okay. Let's see Badana again. <laughs> right. Wow. So That's crazy. We had this was where we saw it f5 and then bishop d4. Yeah. King came to g6. She just didn't take the pawn by instead of play rook. F3. She didn't take. She, she, she came in with her rook. Well, I'm not sure about this because g4. Four, I'm not sure. Before it happened, yeah. Playing. So maybe she should have just taken on g5 when she had the chance. Maybe, yeah. And, and this, uh, I'm more like on show of rook f2 move. So I'm thinking, about, is it possible just to take this g4 pawn and then go for f5, just to sacrifice a pawn for some ah, So what, like takes, takes f5 straight away? Yeah. Yeah, takes, let's say. And I was is it possible just to take the bishop now? Whoa, man! Yeah, that is that is um, Badana's rook. You're there sacking. So, and then what? That's just take, take, so yeah. rook, take here. Take, take then... yeah, probably yeah, yeah. Take first and the rook f one. <laughs> right. Wow. Um, he feels scared. He could maybe just take the bishop off. But, but then even when the king's still <laughs> right out in the middle, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's winning. <laughs> this is looks like winning for for white. This is very nice, isn't it? Because how? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, because how can you bring this queen in to defend? If you go queen g five, they're just going to go rook yeah. f one check, and this queen is cup. The king has no squares. The, well, that one. The king has no squares at all, so all he needs to do is check it. Um, wow. This is my style. <laughs> Just go for crazy for everything. Was it forced then? So, um, so this was instead of rook f2. So take, uh, takes, you would take f5. And assume you take, and this is it. That's all it was. Um, so that's it. I'm going to turn the engine on to check. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're absolutely right. Completely winning. Wow. Okay. Um, it's okay. Bishop. So rook f two. H5. Yeah, that looks too slow. Yeah, HG. Yeah. HG. So she's trying to bring a rook to H2 by playing G3. Yes, G3. Which pay six? Yes. Yeah, so, so I'm not sure already because this looks like Black has some counter attacks. Yeah. Yeah, because you'd want, if you're going for the h file, you'd want your queen, you kind of want a queen, yeah. rook, you'd like want to go king, oh, I don't know, king. That doesn't work, the, the e is problematic, the rook, rook e2 yeah. is the threat in the future. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Maybe she's going to go here and then just like here. But she played a rookie one already. Rookie one and swap it off, do you think? Yeah, she, she already played it. Oh, she's done it. She's done it. She's yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't like this position now. I prefer for black. 
Yeah, but probably it's still okay. Um, because Bishop E5 is a move, so why yeah. can't cut Black's threat um, through this E file? Yeah. Okay, he's played Queen E7. Yeah, so sure. you probably should block this all off now, right? Yeah. If we shot e5, then probably queen is. Queen here. Mm -hmm. It's likely. Yeah. Probably, uh, I'm not sure whether that needs to trade um, uh, e1 rook first, because now white may have something like rook takes and the. Uh... Oh, and getting the queen kind of in. Yeah. So takes that way, takes, and then what, queen d7 or something? Yeah, something like this. Trying to come out here. Yeah. Ah, right, one minute. I'm just going to let someone in. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, fantastic. Come in, both of you. Was it a draw in the end? Draw. We were just looking at your game. <laughs> Come and, come and show us. Fantastic. All right. Right. Now, Lisa, we've got the answers. We've got all the answers. So how do they do uh, How do they do the game? I was like, right. So we're going to start. Do you want to Right. Take yeah, I was like, well, Donna has, has, has two for so many games. Five, yeah. five games in a row. In. So I'm just going to check. We can see. Well. There you are. We can see. If you stay right in. Let's see. If I move you. Let's just move you in there. Stand up for both of your minutes. There we go. Okay, fantastic. Right, this we were on your game. <laughs> um, let's, if I go back. Oh, do you both know um, Lan Yao? Yes. Yes. I do know. <laughs> I've, I've, I've lost you, Badana. <laughs> Sorry? You? I've lost you, Badana. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, <laughs> lots of people have, talking. you know. Are we going to go back to whenever I should have been checkmated early on in the game? I'm you should have been checkmated, yes. There was a, a little bit of a moment where you. Yeah, but but you can tell us. Yeah, okay. So e four e five knight f three knight c six. Tell us any aha four knights and d four. Yeah, it's your favorite. Yes, <laughs> takes takes bishop b four. I was telling everyone that Phil was frightened of this game. <laughs> Who wouldn't be frightened? Who wouldn't be? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I think I, I, I said that when I when I saw this opening, it's a draw already. No, 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 because I had a plan to not make it a draw, but that involved. <laughs> yeah. Really I tend to say, yeah. No, normally it's D5 now, right? Yeah. That's what's then D5, but that tends to draw. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, so he is D5, yeah. you were thinking well, about. Yeah, well, I've played that before, right? Yeah. And that will be on databases and so on. It tends to be a draw, at least at the top level. Yeah. I mean, if white grabs the pawn on d5 and then on c6, and then black has some chances, but white just grabs the pawn on d5 and then um, pieces tend to get swapped off. White plays right. like bishop g5, queen f3, things like that. Yeah. So, and white's perhaps very slightly better. So you thought you'd castle to avoid a sort of... Well, you can still go feet. for that kind of plan, but yeah. Yeah. And you thought you would castle and try and checkmate him in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Rook e8, bishop g5. Yeah, so I could, yeah, d5 is maybe not so good now because I think white can take on f6 and then d5 and it all goes wrong. Right? Oh, so if you go d5 now, yeah. takes. I don't know what you're best takes. Oh, and this one's on. And then if yeah. he takes d5, bishop takes c3. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you take on d5 earlier before black takes on c3. Second, I, I think if white takes on d5 before taking on f6, it's probably the more dangerous line for ah, right. So takes here, yeah, yeah, and then take on c3. I suppose you could do, yeah, so that take and then oh, you no, you wouldn't take I'm not sure we found the best line here, but yeah, yeah. okay. I mean, H6 is designed to avoid things just getting swapped off. Right. And so you're 
H6, H4. Because now I have time to play G5 and break the pin. You could do it now and win a pawn. Yeah. I didn't but fancy like that. Your king <laughs> but it's probably better than what I played. Oh, what, like takes here. Yeah, you can play. This. And then takes here. Yeah. What would you do to him then? I think queen h5. Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah, you could have done this in the game as well. Yes. Queen h5. Okay. And black's want a pawn, but this is very, very dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. So push H four. So you did D five now, Phil. Yeah. So it's trying to sort of confuse things a little bit, which you yeah. do, I think. G five and push it back. Takes. Yeah. And then H three. I guess stopping stopping Bishop G four. Yeah. Yeah, because if white plays queen f3, right, there's a little trap here. Can you see what happens after queen f3? Queen f3. To test who's uh, awake. Is this bishop g4 trapping the queen? Yeah, this was my plan. Oh, this is our, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I played h3, so that I, I could play could queen play f3. Queen yeah. That flummoxed me, h3. And then I had no You didn't plan. know what to do after that. <laughs> <laughs> I probably came up with a bad plan somewhere around here, right? Um, yeah. I mean, maybe I should keep the dark square bishop on. Right, Cause yes, because we got opposite bishops in a minute. I, I, I? Also, because they're playing c5 or c6. c5 maybe is, is the more ambitious one. c5. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to go c4? c4 well, maybe c4, yeah. yeah. But there's something I didn't like about this. Queen f3. Queen f3. Oh, this Andrew Bernie said that Bishop G4 didn't trap the queen because of Bishop C7. Oh. oh so I had no plan. Your plan was your, <laughs> your plan didn't work. <laughs> so it's here. Here. All right. Here. Doesn't it lose a piece though? Oh no, because of this. Yeah. No, yeah. It doesn't even work. Oh, right. it doesn't work. Okay, right. <laughs> okay. Oh well. So, yes. So C5. So maybe queen C5. Three. I'm, I'm not sure taking on C3 was a good idea with my king so open, but yeah. I, I did it anyway. So. The chat was saying your king was maybe in some trouble. <laughs> yeah, I was like, why is about to win? <laughs> I didn't need the chat to tell me that. It wouldn't have helped my, my assessment. But I've got a decent night, right? Yeah. That, that, that's the one good thing about the position. I mean, I'm not really going to take that pawn on c3, I think. I've, I've got to try and avoid getting checkmated. I and mean, if I can avoid getting checkmated and maybe if I get like five moves in a row for free, then I can maybe play like f5, yeah. c6, yeah, yeah. c6. And that could be better, right, with the nice knight on e4. But yeah. That didn't happen. So you took it off. Yeah. Take. Oh, what's what's it? What's it? Yeah. Yeah, this is just very fishy, I think. We were looking at this round here, weren't we? Yeah. And what were we thinking? F4 should be the uh, best move. Yes, yeah, F4 was played. I, I was thinking probably white will win. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We, we liked it for you. Um, yeah, I thought for about a quarter of an hour here and I couldn't find any good move. Because I, I, I mean, I could try and like, I, I wanted to play F5, but that seemed to be kind of asking for it. <laughs> More way, I don't know. Yeah. Crazy. F five. What would you do? Queen right in or take form perhaps? Maybe so queen, queen in. H5. Queen, queen H five. Queen F six. Queen F six. Oh. Maybe you could do you know your plan you did in the game with that sort of thing at some point. Yeah, so I mean, F5 was one. I mean, I, mean, I think it probably yeah. all moves lose at this point, I suspect. Yeah. Um, and there's also tactics on D5, right? Oh, gone. So if you go back to, yeah, go back half move to, to F4. To, to F4. To, yeah. Here. So w w Black's got to watch out for uh, how does it work? Like, if somewhere my queen moves, then White's got queen takes D5 hitting both rooks at the same time. So there's 
Mm. It's kind of quite yeah, it's so if something like Queen E7. Yeah. Yeah. This. Like, yeah. Um, so th there's various tactics along those lines I was trying to avoid. Yeah. Maybe not in exactly. And the F file can open as well. Yeah, it's, it's quite nasty. Yeah. 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 So King G7 was your defense. And then you play Queen D2. I suspect there's something more um, terminal for white now. Instead of Queen D2? What, yeah. like Queen H5? Or? Maybe Queen H5 or maybe F Queen H5 FG. Queen H5 then, like, maybe Queen F6. Queen F6. Play that F takes G5? Queen to Queen F7. Oh! Ah. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah. <laughs> Not that one. Yeah, maybe, maybe we should play Queen. Yeah. Oh, and the Queen's on free, so you have to do it with the Queen, don't you? Yeah, I didn't really consider Queen F6, to be honest. It's tricky. I mean, you can in some positions well, play Bishop I thought, I think I rejected this because, like, Bishop E6. It's, there are Bishop E6 out there. Yeah. Yeah. And then the Bishop has no good square other than C8 to go to. So you have to right? go back. And then F6. F6, maybe. King there. I have seven points, honey. Again. Oh, no. Sorry. You gotta, yeah, it's, no, it's so probably Bishop point. E6 doesn't work. How, how about just directly F5 after Queen H5? A queen h5 f uh, f5 yeah, here. F5, yeah. f5 here yeah um yeah do you take take down queen takes queen takes you wouldn't want to trade queens and take the c pawn that's not the sort of thing <laughs> you want to do c pawns are weak as well so yeah, they are yeah and it's opposite colored bishop, so I can't. Get yeah, rooks. that's not much. That's going to be nothing. Okay, and you can't come in that way because the rook's defending it. So, all right. So is this kind of is that that then end of attack? Well, this was queen h five, but can white just take on g five up to king g seven? Oh, so back, back to sixteen king g seven. Sixteen. Up a bit on the screen. Up a bit. Up a bit. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, take on G5 well, first. Maybe, yeah. I, I suspect th this is where there's a, a good move. And Queen takes G5. Mm. Like, the point is that now if I move my bishop, you have bishop takes H3. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Yes. Yeah. And then if you if I play Queen F3, then maybe bishop E6. Mm. Yeah. But you could play rook F3, wouldn't you? Oh, now it's going to come in with all these. <laughs> oh, you're going to get you. Going to <laughs> now, now we've got the computer's going to come and tell us what we're meant to do. Well, we said that Queen D2 has 42. Like kind of equal. Oh, you said it's yeah, equal. equal. I thought I was completely equal. So after King G7, now we've got the computer. We'll just. Uh, it wants. Oh, C4. Hmm. C4. Nice. Okay. So let's just take. He wants this kind of stuff. And so you're just trying to distract the rook from there, yeah? Oh, no. Yeah. So that we play bishop e5. And then bishop yeah. e5, and that's all scary. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Um, right, I'm going to turn it off again. But it's kind of... Put, it's put, labels put, put, my label, it's labeled your move as a blunder, Phil. I don't, <laughs> don't know what you feel about that, but... <laughs> So I thought for a very long time on that. Oh, so it's good to know that. Is it one minute. I can. I, I should set up so that you can see this as well. Uh, if I just, I'm just going to move this over here just for a second, so you can kind of see the position as well. There you go. Okay. Um, fine. So queen d two, c six, blunder. Yeah, because I'm trying to stop all these tactics where white gets to take on d5, which I guess didn't happen in the game because I did play c6. Right? Yeah. So the computer wanted a g4 here and just kind of, I guess you're trying to stop all these I'm trying to block it all ideas. Up. Maybe if I can block it up, I'm, I'm not too bad. Yeah. Uh, okay. And so instead of this, I thought this was nice, but the, it wants some... Um, yeah, but just take take first. Yeah, so c six, 
and then takes. Yes, someone mentioned a common like. Queen takes and bishop f4, then you have bishop. Ah, five. yeah, yeah, yeah. Chess base India. You know chess base India. Chess base <laughs> India um, had the idea of um, queen g5 and bishop f4 here and um, sort of attacking queen up that way. Queen g6. Bishop h6, that's the idea. Bishop, yeah, bishop h6. Oh, bishop yeah. Oh wow. Six. Seven. And then rook f7. For like king g8 after bishop takes h6. King g8 here. And then. Rook Smith or. Yeah, pull now. Yeah, that's those things you can do. Like rook f3 and then bishop f4. You can. Wait, so yeah. rook f3. Yeah. Yeah. Rook h4. H four, and then we shot F. We shot G five is also good. Let's let's try we shot F four. Bishop for four, okay. Ah, yeah. uh, and you're trying to do this. Rook takes H three. Takes H three. Okay, probably not. We shot G five then. No, I mean, I mean, no, 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 Rook H5. Yeah. And then what? <laughs> H4. 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 <laughs> and bring the rook to the party. Exactly. Exactly. That's what you do. <laughs> H4 and bring the rook to the party. <laughs> nice. Okay. Cool. All right. So Bishop F2. Um, F5. Mm. And this was where, was this, was this your, was it here your move, Lisa? Um, probably just take, take, take first. Take. Where's the one where you take? Wait, but I think it doesn't work. The queen, the queen can take on. Yeah, no, not here because the queen can take on G5. I just, yeah. let's just move on. I mean. Like yeah, this they... before. Oh, it wants it wants rook, some rookie one. Okay, anyway, this yeah. Is, um, King G six. No, it was but it was here, wasn't it? Where, where there was some. No, it's rook F three D four. Uh, rook F three. Yeah. Okay, rook F three G four. It was like take the pawn uh, and then F five. Ah, uh, yeah. So this this was this was Lisa's idea. Take take F five. Bishop takes 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 and queen h6 and this is apparently uh, yeah this this is pretty terminal yeah yeah um okay so g4 rook f2 h5 we haven't seen this end bit because um yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so I take with the H pawn because I don't like the idea of allowing F five. So yeah, yeah, you're very <laughs> wise. So if you're this, this is coming. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you took. Sorry. Uh, um, G three. Yeah, I thought it was an excellent move because uh, like, yeah. if White doesn't do that, then Black it may even have some Queen chances. Queen H four G three. Yeah. yeah. But now White's got some slight chances of getting the, a couple of major pieces on the H file. Yes. But like you might have something on the E5 with Bishop yeah. A6. So I've got to I've got to keep active enough in the center to stop white invading on the H file outs. Yeah. Um, all these on. lines I didn't want to like allow any rook takes e4, queen takes e4. Yeah. Because the queen and the bishop will work well together. Yeah, no, that's right, I think. We thought it yeah, we did we we're now not sure whether you'd be able to get anything. Yeah, we thought now Black was doing fine, was what we were thinking when we got to here. Um, so Bishop A6, rookie one, which, yeah, and this just to block it off, we thought was very sensible. Yeah. C5. I don't think this is what they play like. Uh, yeah. Sorry, so this, this needs to go to be the main line. Yeah. So that's so what you might, yeah. Um, so. Eight. Yeah, rook d8 after bishop e5. 
We should be five. Oh, did you just have a draw? Yeah, we just repeated. But the repeated. computer seems to think black's oh, yeah. better than. Not. Oh, a little bit. Yeah. I thought like Rick takes e1, Queen S takes d4. It's here. Yeah. Queen takes and d4. Okay. Because mm. <gasps> if you take Rook takes and you can't recapture. Yeah. Oh. Makes sense. <laughs> it's nice. So Black might have had a little something here. Maybe. Yeah. I, mean, I, thought some, I was trying to get D4 ideas working, possibly with C5 as well, but I wasn't convinced with these things. Yeah. Okay. And then, so you guys just repeated. Well, yeah. we're also getting slightly short on time, right? Because there's yeah. no extra time in this yeah. format, so you've got to kind of keep moving yeah. briskly as well. Yeah. Oh, very nice. That was a fascinating game because there was sort of like whether you could make something of either of you make something of your opposite bishops and uh, nice yeah and it maybe there was one or two moments where some someone could have broken through um but then it kind of all blocked up here didn't it and then and then then you can't but great great game both of you and great tournament yeah you yeah. must have, have you gained like what, 100 rating points this time yeah, what, 100, something like that? I don't know. pretty <laughs> good Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, fantastic. And congratulations in all your other results. So um, I very much enjoyed your Blitz games and your win against Salomova um, and other play other really top players um, in where was it? Monaco. In Monaco, yeah. So if anyone hasn't hasn't seen those games, then do check it out. Fantastic results. Yeah. Um, good luck. I was going to say good luck in the rest of the tournament, but you're, you're actually the tournament. So, but good luck in. What's your next tournament? I'm not sure. Not sure yet. Oh, yeah. Dad sometimes keeps it a secret. I'm going to ask you after, but then if I talk, if I ask you on stream, then 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 uh, then everyone will know. Okay. But good luck in your next tournament, whatever it turns out to be. Um, congratulations and well done, Phil. I know what your next tournament. You're doing some seniors tournaments. In Slovenia. You're going for, to Slovenia for the European European team teams. So yeah. best of luck in that one. Actually, okay. I'm going to be there. You're going to be there. So <laughs> I'm you can be wish there, you good so. luck. <laughs> I'll wish you good luck at the time. Um, yeah. So, but thank you both very much for coming and showing the game. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Ah, look! Yes, all right. We can see you on stream there. Yeah. <laughs> wow, so cute! Fantastic! Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. See you. Okay, now we better check back in on the norm opportunity on board two. <laughs> Uh, what happened here? So B B5 pawn wasn't taken and G4 pawn also wasn't taken. <laughs> ah, so we had, it was Queen C8, that's where we were, wasn't yeah. it? Um, Bishop B2, Knight F4. Here. And, oh, so we, we had been looking at Knight B5. Oh, uh, not now, no, no, but... No, no, it's not this position. Yeah, we, we shall take Knight and then Knight B5. Yeah, there's one that we have to look at. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, but Jonah decided to keep his bishops and yeah. played here. Queen D8, G3, forcing the Knight out of there, but it comes in further to H3 check. King G2... Knight G five. Um, ah, and takes off now, because otherwise this because this knight's attacking this um, yeah bishop here. Okay, so takes queen takes and queen e two. Ah, okay. So now Jonah is again <laughs> threatening to take this pawn. Yeah. Okay. And Jonah is in time trouble, almost. Yeah, Jonah's got 15 minutes left and um, they don't have any... 
they have an increment, but they don't have any um, additional time. They've only played 25 moves, yeah. actually. Yeah, that, that, that's a problem. <laughs> that's mm. why I, I just decided I never play this kind of tournament because it's too hard. Just always in time trouble. Yeah. Ah, you'd enjoy it, though. You'd, you'd, yeah, you'd get lots of good games in uh, not not this kind of time travel, I'd say. Uh, no time control. Yeah, you prefer a slower game. Yeah. Yeah. So my brain is quite slow. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, so Mickey, Mickey can't still can't actually save the speed pawn. Um, how about just ignore it? And I was thinking something like g6, h5, and f5. Yeah, and just come in on this king side. Yeah, the thing is, if knight takes b5, the knight's kind of stuck on the, on the queen side. And just so let's see. So g6, knight b5. And uh, wait, h5 is possible. Oh, yeah, h5 is possible because. H five and oh. no, I, I I think I missed some something. So G G takes and G takes. Um, here the thing is that Bishop can't take because uh Bishop takes B five. Ah uh, yeah okay overloaded. Um, but the thing is that I just saw Rook H one after yeah Rook H one instead of Bishop takes H five. That looks quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so maybe Mickey can't do h5 yet. Yeah. Then f5? <laughs> Let's try. Just try to be great crazy. Yeah. Right, so I don't think it's Mickey's style, it's just my style. <laughs> That's fine. We can see see what would happen, and then. Uh, but Mickey sometimes does 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 attacks too, like this. Um, he is like very positional, and you even don't know what he's doing in the beginning. And for yeah. all of a sudden, he just began to become very tactic and just yeah. So that's yeah. His style. Yeah. So it so takes, takes, and mm -hmm. if takes again. Then a rook can take. Rook take. Kind of, yeah, probably rook can take. So I'm threatening rook, at, rook takes f3. Rook takes f3. And then what bishop? Yeah, if king takes bishop g4, then queen takes bishop takes knight. Oh, yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. So Bishop here. Rook F four. Rook F four. Again, I'm gonna take your knight. This <laughs> knight's knight or bishop, yeah. It's a bit loose. Yeah. Um maybe defend it then. Then <laughs> rook H four? This is getting a bit uncomfortable, isn't it? <laughs> Crazy, yeah. Um, rook h1. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now that's actually okay. Wait, it's just hanging on. Mm. Okay. Yeah, well, that well, should be good here. <laughs> so maybe Mickey won't do any of this. Maybe he'll... What will he do, though? So, because why is he to take the speed pawn? Yeah, I don't I don't think Jonah will take the speed pawn, because... I don't think we'll do it, because there's yeah. the knight too loose, yeah. So I would say uh, probably nice C2, nice E3 will be a pr proper plan. <laughs> proper plan. No. Okay, but the thing is, uh, after, if nice E3 is coming, then Bishop takes and then White can no longer win. 
Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. So yeah, I'm trying to think of a plan for what doing that your way. Yeah. Maybe. I mean black would what could come around on the queen side. Yeah, it's also possible. Yeah. Okay. Lisa, I think we should just take a little break at this point. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so I'm going to put up the. Um, let's put up. Okay, where I am? Ah, I just need to share the other screen. And that car. Okay. Um, and okay, should we be back in about five minutes or so? Sure. Yeah, okay. See you in a minute. See you in a minute.
Hi there, Lisa. Hi. Ooh, hello, are you all right? Are you ready? Yeah, coming. Uh, just, just wait a second, sorry. Yes, uh, all right, let's get the chest back on the screen. And yeah. Gonna... Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with this 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 game for a moment. Um oh. we've had a few more moves. So Queen E2 G6, and you're absolutely right. Uh Jonah did refrained from taking the pawn on b5 and instead played knight c2 um so doing this alternative plan um of perhaps coming around yeah ah now i see i see that uh daniel fernandez has won the game so should we have yeah. a look how he did sure. so now um we did look at this game before i they're going to give us all the question marks and things in a minute. So, okay, we, oh no, so that's, let's look. Yeah, F5, I think. F5 is a point. F5, we got to. Okay, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we we're thinking it was yeah. promising. Yeah, yeah. So sorry. Much better. Three, Bishop F6, and Queen B3. Um, okay, and Daniel actually ignored this pawn. Um, on b7 and was saying yeah fine take that pawn because I'm going to put my king on f7 and then if it is taken then um, this rook can become very powerful um, yeah. down here so knight a3 and um, and actually this black king looks a lot safer than the white king, even if the white king can castle or not. Um, G2 and, ooh. Oh, queen h8. Queen h8 is defending. Oh. Yeah, probably, probably why just miss this queen h8 idea. Maybe, yeah. Maybe miss that this is just even attacking here. Yeah. But I mean, it's a fork, so, yeah, because it's sort of, Yeah, attacking them both. So, yeah, so so anyway, so he takes on b2, b1, and queen c3 check. Yeah, it's really winning at this point. It's really nice for black, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> King f1, b5, uh, get another pawn forward, and so black's got sort of space. Oh, they keep surprising me. Um, <laughs> Takes, takes. There's not a particular trick, is there? It just he was just getting some yeah. pawns. Yeah, takes. So he got three pawns for the knight. And yeah, I guess trying to get a bit more of an unbalanced position because it was looking unpleasant. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, okay. So black's basically a piece for two pawns up, but it's going to be good. We'll see how he did. <laughs> Okay, we don't need to see that, but yes, well done. Yeah, nice fork. Um, nice fork by Black with the Queen on H8. It's you know, like it's easy to miss. I'll just go back to that one move. Um, it's sort of very easy to miss that. Just it's a bit unusual that it's coming in to a corner square, but then attacking here and then sort of supporting the bishop over here. I'm, I'm thinking of a different. Uh, there's an example from Julian Hodgson from like years ago where he also puts a a, um, a queen onto h8 and it comes and does this sort of surprising attack um, mm. on the diagonal. Very nice, easy to miss. Yeah. Okay, so well done, Daniel. Um, let's see. Let's see board one. So okay. Martin Halbro against. Oh, why the queen is traded? Why it's traded? Yeah. So we're seeing rook c1. We saw rook c1. So rook c1. Okay. And so this was this was one of the many Sicilians. And this Sicilian was pawns coming down the queen side, pawns coming up the king side. Um, black played queen a5. 
H5. So you've, you, it's sort of symmetrically in that um, you've got the two pawns on the G and H and two pawns on the A and B, and they're kind of racing. So B3. There's fourth bidding on the queen. Takes an A3, closing it off. Mm -hmm. D5. And so maybe, depending on things happening, um, yeah, D5, opening up this diagonal, but actually, yeah. if these queens come off, it's going to be less of a threat. And yeah. the queens do. They just come off straight away. So E5. So now, Bishop D8. These advanced pawns are now much less of a threat, you'd have thought, once the queens have come off. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> um, Knight D4. Bishop B6, Bishop D2, attacking the rook. Um, so if that one takes, that one takes. So rook. Rook takes H3. Rook takes A3. Yeah, rook takes A3. <laughs> A3 yeah. Just trade with the pawn and a knight. That's it. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, yeah. so Peter Roberson sacked the rook, um, takes, and he got this knight and the a pawn, and also has this like far advanced b pawn. So the moment I said there's no more danger, the queens are off, um, then we've got this rook sack. And so now, but it's also attacking. Um, this pawn here. We've got a question from Elise. Uh, what if queen a4 instead of d5 and d5 later? Should we just have a quick look at yeah. that? So um, queen a4 here. What about that? Hmm. Probably g6. Why will we just attack first? Yeah. So why did it okay? Because black spent to move, and oh wait, actually I found something probably even better. How about rook c four? Ah, oh, rook c four. Oh, and Elise is saying knight c three. Um, yeah. So maybe one of these ideas where you attack the queen, yeah, force it back, um, and then carry on with the plan. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. And so, so just um, going back to this one, then, um, so Black's threatening this. Mm-hmm. So, okay, so what if, uh, white, let's say white just defends. Mm -hmm. Is B2 possible? B2. It's tempting, isn't it? B2. Yeah. Um, let's say rook C2. And bishop A4. A4. <laughs> and there's no squares. Yeah. There's no squares. Okay, so you can't do that. Um, so, let's go the other way with the rook. We'll go rook f1, say. Yeah, but I see rook b3 here. Wow. Four. <laughs> Talking these. And if you take this one, this has got all sorts yeah. of threats as well. I've got a follow-up. So what do you think? Is this is this good for black now? Uh, here is probably good for blah, but I didn't think that after bishop takes d4, why has something else? Yeah. Uh, let's say bishop c3. Bishop c3? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So...
Yeah, so if B2, uh, rook C2 is nothing, and uh, bishop E3 might be possible because then the bishop can just take this G5 pawn. And uh, yeah. black is kind of, um, how many pawns up? So let's do a count of these pawns. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So, yeah. so one I'll pawn take for the three. exchange at the moment, but it looks like black's going to pick up a second pawn for the exchange. Yeah, that's a quite nice thing. because Usually I prefer uh, a minor pieces and two pawns versus a rook. Yeah. Yeah, so this could be quite... It's still really unclear though, because you still got these, you know, oops, not that way. <laughs> you still got pieces lining up. Like, like if you if black does take this G pawn, you maybe get rooks on the G file as well. Yeah. This knight's still a bit. Yeah, nice from I would say I would prefer. Bishop here, and uh, and it was two pawns, and let's say versus a rook and an eye, <laughs> that will be yeah. very happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a knight, not a bishop, but um, no good files for the rooks, says Elise. Yeah, dangerous for white, says Poker Chess. Okay, anyway, yeah, exciting sacrifice. Yeah. It takes here, moves out of the way somewhere, let's say there, and takes. So how about bishop b4, just try to block this rook? Okay, and potentially come and take this pawn. Yeah. All right. So maybe try and get this knight in. Um, yeah, but knight c7, then bishop d6. Yeah, um, nasty. Okay, you have to wait with that knight. You could do the same trick again, right? <laughs> Take on here and then bishop that way and pick up that one. Hmm. <laughs> with that this position? I don't, I don't think it would work, but... <laughs> Uh, but then it's on two rooks, like sacrificing two rooks. There's two rooks, yeah. Yeah. Right. So I still feel like we have to get this knight out somehow. Yeah. Maybe F6? Yeah, F6 is possible. So remember, white is kind of, he's half a point clear of everybody else. Mm. See, probably the last thing you wanted was a game just like this, <laughs> where everything's going on. Yeah, yeah, it looks confusing actually because e takes f six. Like black can even take back the bishop, then the king can't go to b two. Yeah. So how about this, um, f6? Let's say king b2. Okay. 
I'm just gonna take your b3 pawn. If you take yeah. e5 pawn, I'm gonna take your b3 pawn. So if black plays bishop a4, then take on f6, bishop takes, then bishop c3. Try to trade one more bishop. Oh, so take this. If take, then king takes. And b... b2. Two. Then let's say, um, yeah, <laughs> still hard. Yeah. King d4. King d4. <laughs> we the king is the center. Wow. <laughs> okay. And this pawn's on freeze. Yeah. So defend it with the king. Actually, how about this? Instead of king d4, I take the e4 pawn, uh, e6 pawn first. Okay, rook, so rook here, yeah. Yeah, and if rook b3, then king d4. King d4. Okay, hit takes. Oh, no, you're taking this knight. Wait, we have to throw this the, one. the knight is protected by the bishop. Okay, so we're okay. Okay, so take this. Oh, very tricky. And um, why rook b1? B one. Oh, all these rooks are on white squares. You kind of hope there'll be something, but I can't see it. Yeah. Uh, how about let's play more accurately? Uh, is that possible to go for rook b six first instead of rook b one? Yeah. So rook b6 here. Yeah, so if rook a1, then rook b1. So now this looks like this pawn's yeah. doomed. And then we're, it's good for white. If that will be, <laughs> if it's like yeah. this. Yeah. OK. So that was that was that was F six, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Ah, we have a move. A rook H four. Rook H four. Yeah, I haven't thought about that because I was thinking like, okay, E e five pawn is more important than the pawn taken. Okay, <laughs> things have been I'm just placed. Still the bishop. Yeah. That makes sense. If the bishop's gone, yeah. then probably just safer for white. At least now for black, the knight can come, could come this way, maybe out here or out there sometime. Yeah. So you swapped here. Why is gonna capture this B three pawn for sure? Ah, uh, black doesn't want that to happen. Yeah, um, and uh, black doesn't have time. You could I don't know if it helps. You could throw in B two right away. Um. Yeah, but the rook can just go anywhere, and the bishop is traded, and then rook B four again. Yeah. If this pawn goes, then white's gonna be it's gonna be good for white. Well it's played. He's played he has played B2. So maybe what rook D1 keeping threat keeping that defended. Yeah, probably. There's not really any way for black to avoid the exchange of bishops that I can see. So probably rook, rook d1. So rook d1. Ah. Rook c2. No. no, he's gone rook c2. 
Uh, what's the point? Oh, I can't, I cannot see the idea. Like, um, Bishop A4 can't be played because Bishop E5, and uh, if Bishop traded, and then B B2 pawn is turning. And uh, so if here, here, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so many. yeah. Um, so Bishop F4 was played. So maybe black wants to play a rook b3 and then try to take one pawn back. Yeah, makes sense, doesn't it? So then white, let's say white takes. Uh, white already takes, right, the bishop is hanging. Can't take, so bishop. Yeah. Somewhere, bishop drops back. And then, and this, for rotates, yeah. yeah, rotates a three, and just takes, yeah. So just <laughs> positional game uh, again. Like two pawns up for black. Yeah, right. Elise has an idea. B two. Bishop takes bishop. Let's. B two Bishop takes Bishop. Oh, this here, here, this line. I think oh um, the King <laughs> takes. It doesn't look right because now the material is equal and the yeah. black is one up. Yeah. White yeah. dominant style squares, but rook b three gives enough for black. Yeah. So we are here with this rook coming in. Um, so yeah, so we're looking at bishop dropping back, and then if this and this, this is probably pretty good for white. It's it, it is two pawns now for the piece uh, exchange. Yeah, hard to say, but probably white white is better because oh, bishop e two is a big mistake. See if we can find it. We've got a tactics puzzle here. Wow. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited now. Yes, mustn't do this move. Um, <laughs> oh, is it F E five? Yeah, I'm thinking not huge. Is it? Oh yeah, E five. I just saw that. Yeah, is that the one? That's probably it. Yeah. Huge mistake. <laughs> huge. Okay, so instead of that, but but wait a minute. But you've got the same trick if you go bishop f one as well, right? So rook d4 is it possible? Rook d4. Then e5 just takes. Uh, e5, rook d5. Yeah. Yeah. And could you do the same? Not really, no. because now if you take the bishop, then you're going to sacrifice another <laughs> another rook, and then bishop f5, I can just defend against a rook. So you go rook e8 and threaten mate or something. Rook d8. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So that's where they're at. Um, Martin's. They, they're running. The people are getting a bit short of time. Let's let's check back in on Jonah <laughs> and Mickey. Um, so now F five happened. Yeah. Yeah. So Black's now playing on the king side. White on the queen side a bit. Ah. Uh, there's h pawns, h files open, so you could imagine perhaps something like queen h five and coming in here. That would uh, that would be mate. Yeah, but if queen five now, then rook rook h one. Ah, right, yeah. <laughs> just the rook is kind of oscillating between king yeah. side and queen side. Yes, back and forwards. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. You don't want to be in too much time. He's only got one minute left. It's a long move. <laughs> so that's, well, that's why I'm saying that Jonah just thinks a lot during middle game. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Rook I was just about to say Rook G7, and then he played it. Yeah. But 
doesn't seem to be quite good for white, to be honest. So to defend that, you could maybe Queen E1. <laughs> Queen E1 doesn't look right. I mean, oh, he he's is. done it though. <laughs> But, but the thing is, another rook can't go to h1, and that's yeah. the yeah, 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 yeah. This is blocked yeah. now. This now this is impossible. Yeah, h5 mm -hmm. is likely now. Say again. H5 is likely now. Ah, h5, yeah. Because if you don't have rook h1, then h5, h4 is coming. Yeah, I'm beginning to like this for Mickey because. Like um, like we were talking earlier about getting this knight in through here and stuff, and and it's now like just this bishop's nice, I think. Yeah. So Mickey's got time to have a little think. So while he's having his think, let's see, Matthew was. So we were going like saying, oh yeah, this will be a draw. And they knight and five against knight and five, so it could well be. Um, well, I would say white is definitely better because of the pawn on c5, the pass pawn with the protection because this is nice and this is going to yeah. hold up. Um, something's got to keep, yeah. So, not just six can't be played because then it's definitely a losing end game. Mm. So black can't trade the knight and king king six might be wise. Do you think he's gonna try and go f five and yeah probably but I will say wait I am thinking about if, if knight a six threatening knight c seven oh mm -hmm. I. I I saw that king seven again, and then king b four, knight c six. So d four pawn is honey. Right. So if you come in and take here, you're going to take here, and then here, and right could go here next. So you maybe have to That's block. Six, yeah. yeah. And then what happens with it? So say like you do that and just want to trade knights. No, it doesn't work. But d d four, you trade an item. Oh. Gonna... Yeah. <laughs> that would backfire. That backfires spectacularly. Yeah. Okay, so not that. Um, yeah, so, okay, king here, knight a6 here. It's not that easy for a for white. Yeah. What about, oh, if you check here, you're just going to go king. King c7. King c7. Yeah. Okay. Ah, but we have a move, which was knight c2 has happened. So white's going to go maybe the other way, like this. Yeah. Because you. Oh, or maybe it's just defending that. And so yeah. you can just go here and try and take that one. Yeah. Because this. What happened to Natasha? Hello. Hello. Oh, my internet go again. It must have done. Yeah, apologies for that. I keep I'm switching between these internets. Um, yeah, yeah I've got my the one I carry with me and my hotel room one. And uh, mm. we'll see, so it's hotel room one at the moment. Right, so we are still in this end game. Um, Matthew Wadsworth against Rich Pert. And Matthew's just gone knight c2. Yeah. F5, says Rich Pert. Yeah, so if the points can be put on f4, then probably black is safe. Yeah. Well, it looks like it can, because if you take, then mm. perhaps what knight takes. And king b4. Ah, OK, let's have a look at it. Takes, knight takes king b4. Yeah, it seems that white is 
faster because that one's in deep trouble. Yeah, I mean, I mean black can go for a nine G seven and take this H five pawn, but uh, the speed is like much slower. Yeah. Yeah. So here, maybe come back there. Yeah. Here. King. No, oh, I think. Not 94 and 96. 94. Here. And 96. Here. Oh, now that's nice. <laughs> He's yeah. like because the king can't even come for it. So if the king comes here, maybe. But even so, right? You just yeah, yeah, just ignore the, the yeah, just go for it. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> they, they did it different. They went um, F3. F3. Oh, I didn't expect that because I was like, oh, I, F4. Yeah, F4 doesn't, do F4 now. F4 doesn't work now because uh, king B4. King, king B4. Right, so if so, I thought before, then just a free pawn. Mm. Okay. So black needs to play something else, but the but the problem is if knight c six is played, if the knight on c six and the pawn is on f four, probably that will be safe. But the problem is probably knight e three. Yeah, knight e three. So then you maybe I, yeah you can four say oh, but then this yeah, yeah. that's your problem. Yeah, 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 and that just wins spawn. So you'd have to take, but even so, I can't even take this. Knight ball. takes, and if the king comes in, you take. And this eight pawn is going to be pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's looking good for white. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to hop back anyway to um, let's let's see Jonah and Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep checking in on this one. Um, wow. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. That rook was over there. <laughs> well, I know what happened. There's a rookie AA and a it rookie. Over there. It was all the way over there. Okay. Yeah. So it was um, we did Queen E1 and yeah, you played exactly your move. Yeah. Five. And it was rook A8 check. King F7, Rook H8, H4, Rook H7. So Mickey's traded. So that's going to be that. So I think, oh, why can't we? <laughs> yeah, this well, why definitely can't we in this position? <laughs> yeah. Um, just trying to think of. But if black wants to win, that may take some like things, <laughs> some ideas, some energy. I think there's something loose a bit. Like say it takes here. If queen takes, you may. Oh no, it's still defended. It's all defended. Sorry. Yeah. Um. If I just h three and play positionally. H three. So say king h two. Yeah. Mm. Ah, he's played. He's actually played takes. Yeah. So maybe he's. What has he seen? But so, say you do. All right. Let's just see this a minute. So if here, and check. It doesn't win the knight, but where's the thing? Is right. If if you don't mate him, then the the, the these white pieces come in pretty quick, don't they? Yeah. Um. This has happened. So queen takes has happened. So say say this did happen, um, and you went back to there, say. Yeah. Um, mm. Oh, how about queen d1? Queen d1, king here. And uh, queen g1. <gasps> Checkmate. 
Oh, oh, you were losing. I thought I thought the king had gone through 87 and checkmate. And the queen had to. Yes, you were in a checkmate. Checkmate. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, that, that might be his idea. I I missed that. I was like, that probably is his idea. Yeah, I've um, seen how can black hold the queen too, right? Can it? Can can they? Because because this is on the board, so he yeah. can play this. So what? You can't come forward at all. So the only other way is going that way. But that. Yeah, that's still still queen d1. Yeah. And the... Ooh, so is this oh no, no, hang on. But but people can interpose this this something. Oh, nine, nine one can be played. Yeah, nine, nine yeah, one. On either line, on either line. So here, let's say. Here. No, no, no. I, I know King H1, what if just Queen H6 instead of Queen D1? Yeah. Queen H6 picks up the fish. Oh no, they go there. And then Queen C1. Queen C1. This queen's getting active here. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> and then so we, we don't have that square. Yeah, and then queen d2. Queen d2. And king h1, queen d1, king g2, queen e2. <laughs> king h1. Can't You can't do it now. You can't do it this time because queen f1 and that's that's that. So here you'd have to go. Yeah. <laughs> but you can go. Can you go? Can you go? There. You can. Or you, you can. can. Yes. Uh, but, but John already played King F1. Speaking of also, also work because you, you also have you still have like uh still have interposing. So Queen D1, you just you don't you don't you don't go there. That's yeah, sure. not, just now you Oh wait, 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 wait. He's done something different now. Oh Bishop H3. Some Bishop H3, right? Oh, oh. This is even better. How can I miss that? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm winning already. Because you can't yeah. take it. You can't take it. Yeah. Then... Mate. So this is this is game over, isn't it? Yeah. So probably Jonas should play. Still play King H1. Might be better. We should still. have gone King H1, could he? Yeah. King H1 still feels dangerous, <laughs> you've got to say. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that one's finished. So let's just, like, I'm going to put the engine then for King H1. Oh, it's still. Yeah, it still doesn't oh. work. I tend to think Black has yeah. something, but just need time yeah. to think. Oh, they want Queen H6 and Queen. Oh you, oh, you win the bishop. No, hang on. But Queen H6 here. Yeah, the engine say the idea of Bishop H3. Oh, three. Yes. Uh, that's... And then you either take the bishop or else you check back down on C1 and yeah. Yeah. That's oh lovely. dear, unlucky. Poor Jonah, because he hasn't got his norm then. And yeah. well done, Mickey. Oh, how bro, Mr. Simple Tactic and a draw is coming. Let's check in on board one. Um <laughs> how comes? <laughs> whoa. Okay. Where did we see? We saw um something like no, we didn't see this yet. Uh, for sure, E2. E Oh, look at oh, the bishop e2 was played. So e5. The blunder, the blunder, the blunder that, that um, Andrew Bennett was pointing out to us. I think yeah. It was. Yeah. So how um, long was that bishop e just before this move? Or what is happening? Okay. So before the move. It's, it's still no. quite equal. <laughs> still nothing. So it's not a not a, not a huge blunder, is what he said. Huge blunder. Not, not like you said, not a huge blunder. Huge blunder by the top, the top, the the the, the tournament leader, um, but not really a huge blunder. Not really. <laughs> change the evaluation at all. Yeah. Okay. Um, e five. Rook b four. Yeah. Okay, because the point was with this. Um, well, yeah, okay. We, we, the bishop f5 is the threat anyway. So here, yeah, takes, takes, bishop f5. Okay. And then white goes with the b pawn. Yeah. These come off. Mm -hmm. And this knight comes alive. Knight d6. Yeah. b6. And f6. And the king comes alive as well. Oh, I tend to get it. Like, Black has got all the trade, all the pawns, and uh, 
black can give out the knight and uh, white will have the pawn on h5 with the wrong color. Yes, <laughs> wrong color for the bishop. Yeah. Queen's on a dark square. Yeah. So black just wants to trade. So king f7, b7, take it. Yeah, yeah. very sensible. And king e6. And yeah. And black should be able to trade these off. Yeah. Leaving this one on. Trade these two. Yeah. And that'll be the draw. Okay. So that where do, so what does that mean? So that means Martin Halbro is has the same number of points as Mickey. <laughs> yeah. And I think Daniel Fernandez as well. I think they were on yeah. the same. So um yeah, because Daniel was on five and a half. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Mickey was six, Jonah was six, Sergei Tiviakov was six, and Peter Robeson was six. So um, actually, Daniel Fernandez is half a point down. Yeah. Um, so we need to check Tivi. Oh, this head again. Oh, this one. Okay. So <laughs> if white wins. This is a, well, why should, oh, no. It's not that obvious. No. Yeah, it's always better, but. So where were we with this one? We were um, somewhere. Not not here. Probably um, just before. Before that. Also before that. Also before. If before that, Paul hasn't. Some yeah, somewhere like this. Somewhere like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because this bishop f six move that you found is uh, very very nice. Yeah, and um, and I think. Yeah, we've seen this move, and we've seen Queen B7, and we've seen Bishop G3. Yes, and it was sort of hard oh, that's to that's the point. Yeah, yeah, we saw this one, didn't we? And then Rook D7, and then Knight came in. Yeah. Okay. This Knight comes into D5. Well, that's a nice square for that Knight there. Yeah, six. That looks better for for white at this point. Now it looks better, doesn't it? Yeah. So takes That's takes, fun. and takes. Okay, so now this one. He needs to defend. Ah, no, he just blocks it off. Mate on g7, queen takes g6, rook mm -hmm. d6 can't be taken because you've still got mate on g7, so queen g5, check, threatening um, rook g4, threatening rook g5, perhaps. All right, so black, white has these two rooks and the queen. The king doesn't have much cover, but black does have two minor pieces for the rook. Yeah, but white has two extra pawns. <laughs> and white has two extra pawns. This one and that one. Yeah. I've got too many circles on those two. Mm. Yeah. So I feel like that will be strong if, if white gets it. Um, yeah. Oh, and queen h5 is a threat as well, this h point. So white should be winning. White should be winning this game. Yeah. And white has a little bit more time as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's just have a quick quiz. Um, so Declan Shafi against Amit Ghazi. I'm just counting the pawns. Six four against five. So Amit's got an extra pawn unless something immediate's happening. Yeah. Who 
you need to worry about these like if there's any bishop g6 tricks or something like that but you can just defend with the yeah no yeah. yeah okay um shres drew his yeah, game. How, how can you do that I, I think he was better at one point so we i'm just going to click somewhere we were yeah, this is the point that we we've seen yeah Rookie so, two is what I was thinking about. Takes, takes. Yeah, so most of should be fine. And uh, takes. Yeah, this looks okay for black. Yeah, black support up. Mm. Um, I suppose you have to not let anything happen down the default. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? It's quite tricky. It's a tricky one. Oh, and takes mistake. If uh, they wanted, the computer wanted. It just costs uh, F5, actually. F5, yeah. That. yeah. That's a bit oh. hard because you just leave the king in the center and then you need to move the rug. Yeah. I'd be worried about both of these two kind of lining up. Yeah. Um, so takes. Rook takes and queen e2. So, of course, white can't take it because of the back rank mate on h1. So, queen c1 castles. Hi. Oh, I think it might be. Oh, it's probably room set. So they're trying to clean the room. Okay. <laughs> no, either. you can go away. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, is in your room? Yeah, not today. Okay, Thank you. Um, rook f2, okay, lining up on the seventh rank, that's what you always want to do. Yeah, rook one queen c4. Here, okay, and then they repeated. Yeah. And lots of checks, and that was a draw. Hmm. Yeah, so he... Um, it was a bit better for him. It, yeah, it was, it's quite yeah. hard, I would say. Um, yeah, I think usually the yeah, advantage of um, plus or minus one is quite, it's quite a difficult advantage. And many people mm. say, say that, oh, it's winning, it's minus one or plus one. Wow, yeah. so this kind of advantage is not enough for, for way. No, yeah, yes, plenty left to do. Okay, yeah. so the Battle of the Peters was won by Peter Wells. <laughs> we, yeah. We, oh, there we go. Oh, Actually, okay. quite a quick game in the end, 26 well, minutes. Sounds some blunders. Yeah. Um, and what else? We had, um, we popped in on that, didn't we? Jaden against Stephen Dishman, uh, which yeah. turned out as oh. a draw. So Vlad didn't manage to win. I think that was a pawn up and uh, should be better at some point. Is that the, the game I remember? Yeah. Oh. What, what, <laughs> what happened It's showing white better. It's showing white better. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, okay. I'm going to pop back to so mickey's one we're gonna pop back to that one so this one this one was a draw already so is it already a draw or maybe it is if we I look on I someone say it on the chat like, i thought draw. someone said it was a draw okay yeah. so without doing oh without doing too many spoilers <laughs> um yeah draw on board one and actually tivi does convert <coughs> on, um, on here this uh, one this, yeah this looks winning too many yeah. points yeah, yeah, too many pawns. And this one actually is going to be a a frightening one. Yeah. Um, okay. And this one. Wow. <laughs> oh, gosh, this one's changed. Yeah, well, it, even why was winning, actually. Like, so we had a four. Yeah, this point is already winning. Nine five. I had nine five. Oh, five. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then nothing to be done. Right, and then you've got 
it's this one and this one. Yeah. That one and that one. You can't stop both of those. G4. C6. Mate in 23, it says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All righty. So, okay. And then what happens if, Matt Carr, if you're watching, tell me what happens. Do they just share first place or is there some kind of... Uh, playoff or anything i imagine they just share first place yeah probably yeah cool all righty i think um i think we should wind up there because i think we um we know that board one's a draw yeah board three's a win for white mm -hmm. so the winners of the championship then are martin halbro Mickey Adams and Sergei Tivyakov. Didn't Mickey win last year? I think he won last year as well. Yeah, he so. won last year, yeah. Last yeah. year he won so many Super Grandmasters. So yeah. he just won very easily. I think he got like something like uh, 8 or 8.5 out of 9, something like that. Uh, this wow. year, like, more uh, strong Super Grand, not Super Grand, very strong Grandmasters at 2,500 or something. So it's not yeah. that easy <laughs> as before. Yeah. So Mickey, because he had a, an amazing 2023 and um, yeah. 2024 is starting well too. So big congratulations to him. Congratulations also to uh, Martin Halbro from Denmark and um, Sergei Tivyakov, very experienced grandmaster as well. Um, hard luck, particularly to Jonah Willow for just yeah. missing out there. Good game today, but missing out on his GM norm. Um, yeah. Unlucky for him to play Mickey three times. Play Mickey, time. yeah, 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 yeah. This is always, always going to be a tough one. Yeah. Um, well done also to some of the junior players. For example, we saw some good games um, by Bodana. We saw oh. Rukaya um, and Supratit. All thank you, all of those for coming along and showing their games, and everyone else who came along and showed their games. Um, and it's been a lovely tournament, actually. Really, really nice. Um, great venue. Um, very nice spirit as well. Um, well done to Showy and Matt Carr and all the arbiting team and Nigel Towers for organizing it. Um, thank you very much, Laniao, for uh, commentating um, today and, and you did on Thursday as well. And thanks to the other commentators. Thanks, everybody. Um, in the chat as well. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching.